Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of the Mean Boys Podcast. Boys, who are mean? <laughs> yeah, Keith, uh, Keith uh, got, got a little tummy problem. Yeah, my body has just decided that once every week and a half it would <laughs> put me in blinding <laughs> stomach pain. So yeah. when I inevitably and, Which have I admit, her- by on behalf of your body, is a pretty good prank. When, when I inevitably <laughs> survive a heroic battle with belly cancer, we'll look back on this intro fondly. Isn't it called stomach cancer? No. it's, no, it's, it's, it's called it's, belly cancer when you're hilariously fat. It's a different thing when what Keith said. Oh, what did yeah. you eat? What food? <laughs> <laughs> I ate food. I didn't eat a, a tin can. A burger. I'm not a goat. He got a he got a bur- went to a burger restaurant. He was like excited about is the worst part. You're like, oh, we're going to that burger restaurant. Swell. <laughs> yeah, stout. I enjoy the thing, and now I'm suffering. <laughs> You're paying for it. Anyway, we got Isaac Hirsch on today's yeah, episode. Uh, uh, Keith on this yeah, show. Keith so this is the only Keith you <laughs> get to hear this week. Yeah, we. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. So it's uh, me and Tom and good old Isaac Hirsch, all reliable. Yeah. Uh, just uh, cutting the cutting the rug. That's dancing. Cutting it up. Cutting the chopping, pot. Chopping well, it up. We should keep the jitter talking. pod. We're keep, doing a podcast. Let's keep both takes of this intro. Uh, yeah, it was a, it's a yeah, fun this, episode. Here's, here's how bad we are. This is the second take. Listener <laughs> <laughs> at home. Yeah, Isaac was fantastic. We had a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, um, uh, <laughs> Keith is still dying. <laughs> <laughs> you, just, you just moaned at the concept of fun. Yeah, dude. F- fuck, man. I'm turning into me. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> so follow him on the social media. Please. The <laughs> Keith's about to turn into a werewolf, and I don't know where his mom lives, so you have to leave an iTunes review soon. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Patreon update five stars by a uh, username Meme Boys Patreon, which thanks. Tight. Uh, this guy writes Next 9 11, all 100 of our patrons will receive two Meme Boys. Branded Jenga towers signed by the Steve Riggedy Ranazizi. <laughs> no proceeds go to Alzheimer's research. <laughs> did you no proceeds. No proceeds. That's so funny. And I'm like, well, how did you even make up this terrible sentence? <laughs> I love I it. I love you so much. I love it. Uh, that's the, the Riggedy. Uh, <laughs> I'm, 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 apparently, this is my catchphrase now. I'm He's fun now. times Urkel. So fucking, <laughs> there you go. I'm in. Severe piggity pain. <laughs> I like to riggedy rap this iggity intro <laughs> so I can go liggity lay in bed and miggity moan quietly. But yeah, leave it. Leave us another iTunes review. We're only <laughs> we're maybe what a dozen away from having Keith's mom on the we're show, two, and we're literally three away. We're wow. three, three away from meeting Keith, Keith's mom. Keith gets to diarrhea all over his <laughs> mom's new stepdad's bed, oh, uh, and the circle guy. becomes complete. So yeah. And here's the deal: he's going to turn into a werewolf, so we got to do this soon. Aru. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Me of London or whatever. That's Can you talk faster? Makes. Uh, yeah, so get some tickets for Halloween. <laughs> and what's the date for Halloween, <laughs> Connor? October 28th. October 28th? What oh, time, shit. Keith? Where? Uh, 9.30, I think. We haven't totally discussed the details. Tom, where is it? Echoes under Pico. It's just on Pico, but oh. part of it's under it. It's <laughs> plumbing. Yeah. You're not inhabiting that portion for the it's show. It's at it's Echoes. Echoes. Yeah, yeah come kids. to the show. Yeah. Halloween. It's We're going to have ticket some... link is in the bio. We're going to have some awesome fucking guests on there to be, to be announced. All of this <laughs> Your favorite guests have already politely declined. <laughs> <laughs> so, man, you're to be Steve Hella in Australia. Captain <laughs> Yunt, you best believe he doesn't check his message. Jess <laughs> Reed, I guess, doesn't have a lot going on. <laughs> So Jessereen will be on the show. Yeah, Hooray! Yeah, Jess Reed, it's I haven't met awesome. her yet. Jessereen, uh, and presumably we'll wait till the last second and just book our roommates again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know. <laughs> Shit. Uh, uh, man. Yep. Nope. No idea. It's got to be a good show. We're actually really yeah. excited about yeah, it. Yeah, we're yeah. going to do some cool we shit. We have some goofy plans. Yeah, I'm going to get super, what, as, as Keith would say, uh, Hig- Higgity Hurt. Yeah, Dominatrix. Well, actually, I don't even know if that's happening. Don't Guys, it's going to... Don't try to do my biggity bit. Okay. okay. Guys, all right. calm the fuggity fr- frick down. <laughs> <laughs> calm the fuggity frick down. Uh, back, uh, back Good to old the... cuntity Connor. Uh, yeah, biggity... <laughs> Douche. <laughs> I feel like I have to vomit shit. <laughs> you sound like 
like Nietzsche, right? So, <laughs> you, I mean, hell. If you want more of this content, we are super close to Snark Week. Uh, Two thousand dollars. Oh. We're, we're like thirty bucks away or something. Oh, no, really? It's, it's pretty close. Yeah. Too. And here's the deal. I have had no time to do any, have any sort of a life. All three of our I'm lives have been so chaotic lately. Jokes about yeah. Hitler. Uh, so I, I truly cannot uh, fathom doing a week of Spin the Snark. So if you really <laughs> want to destroy uh, uh, a couple of human beings for an extra $100 each a month, <laughs> go ahead and throw your $5 for weekly bonus content, $10 for monthly goodies. Uh, getting the uh, the patches printed up and sent over from uh, from last month, working on that, so that is uh, still coming down the pipes. But yeah, uh, fucking get in there, help us out. We're poor. Uh, we you know have ruined our lives to amuse you, and we appreciate it. But uh, you know, if you want to give us money, that's nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> also, subreddit. Is oh yeah, we got the Mean Boys badass. subreddit <laughs> where people can make all you can Dude, see. This. Plug in Keith, best character in the show's history. Yeah, all about it. Uh, what a fun, sexy time. Yeah, check out. <laughs> you're just, you're just. This is where you reveal that you actually think the same things as me. They're just covered in a layer of disco balls and gravy fries. Yeah, check. Is, is what you feel like all the time spiritually. Mm-hmm. And check out the Mean God, Boys. Like, there's no way to survive this. <laughs> I'm, I'm working on it. It's not a no picnic. Check out the Mean Boys subreddit. There's a lot of hilarious memes of me jizzing all over the place and something oh, with a kangaroo. Tom is keeping order. Tom uh, is interrupted the bit to move the. Join our along. Discord channel, we'll not run Discord by channel. us. Uh, it's run no. by Alexis I out in check Indiana. In once a week to make sure no one's radicalizing anyone <laughs> to anything other than like maybe a new Gundam series they'd like to. Discuss. Yeah, do you like Gundam? Uh, I'm not. Not sure what that is, but go yeah, ahead and Discord. You, literally it uh, and I'm not going like to remember. Beaver houses or whatever in space, you can go do that. Gun it's thing. a kind of anime uh, book. No one didn't get it. Hey, fuck off. All right. <laughs> you want to borrow my medicine? You just don't talk smack to me. <laughs> you, are, you, you can have the medicine, man. I know Thanks, you're buddy. I don't have medicine, but I have a computer. <laughs> okay, well, go. we got to read some sketches <laughs> off that computer, and I have to edit them into this week's episode. Don't worry, it's 12.47 a.m. right now. Uh, but boy, bet your ass, do we have a Twitter and Instagram? Follow them shits real quick. And a YouTube channel, EGADS, every show, right there, all for you to listen to on YouTube, you weird asshole. <laughs> <laughs> and tweeted me until I had to get a separate service that uploads things to YouTube for me, and they get eighty nine views. So uh, subscribe to that. Yeah, that give them ninety. Yeah, get, no, it's, they get more than that. I think. Yeah. Anyway, um, oh god, we got to go to bed. Here's the show. Uh-huh. Hey everybody, welcome to the Mean Boys Podcast. If you give a mouse a cookie, he's going to want to fuck your wife. I'm Connor McSpadden. I'm Tom Goss. And I'm... Young Stephen Hawking. Welcome to the show. <laughs> Isaac Hirsch returning once again. I was looking at pictures of young Stephen Hawking and I was like, we can get Isaac for this. Perfect. Yeah, I've, uh, I've, I've heard that multiple times. You're not the first young Stephen Hawking... Dis, I've yeah, got. I know. Yeah, so I, f- I figured I probably had uh, someone to beat me there. But, but you really do look like a like <laughs> the world's least healthy, able-bodied man. But you look like you were successfully faith healed out of a wheelchair by <laughs> Billy Graham in the seventies. I, I, I look like Stephen Hawking, like a month into the diagnosis, where everyone's like, "Uh oh." <laughs> and you're walking around like, "Hey, it's not a death sentence, guys. I'm hey. just gonna I'm gonna try to figure out these black holes while I still got my arms." You guys. Could totally be like the same family of Pokemon that evolve into each other. Like oh, you, yeah. If, into so if it has max Connor, happiness Connor. during the day, you get Isaac. Yeah. And if it's max sadness at night, it turns into me. Yeah. <laughs> Isaac evolves into Connor. Connor evolves into Crystalia. There's a whole chain of just like skinny <laughs> oh, white yeah. dudes. We used to do that. That was uh, that was the Pokemon evolution. So like the the, uh, the old example is like. So Keith Carey evolves into Mike Lawrence, who evolves into Patton Oswalt. Oh, you know? yeah, I remember these, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and it was like uh, Connor evolves into Hampton Yunt, or evolves into, like, uh, I don't know, Daniel Tosh or something, you know? Like yeah. It, it, does, it doesn't work perfectly. I don't know, who, who would Isaac evolve into? I don't... Ooh. Matt Kirshen. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who that uh, is. John Mulaney, but he has an autoimmune disease. <laughs> <laughs> Not diagnosed. <laughs> 
Yeah, Fair. maybe, maybe. So maybe, I like uh, things from the past. I think they're better, and I have to have my blood replaced every day. <laughs> <laughs> I can see your final form being Mulaney, but I, I don't. I, I, I would like that very yeah, much. Yeah, yeah, I could see that. Uh, I mean, yeah, I want to date. I want to marry a lamp designer. That would be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you're a little more vulnerable on stage than Mulaney. Well, yeah, I mean, Mulaney is so polished that like, there's no. There's nothing. There's you don't you don't know what Mulaney the man is like. But Which that's is okay. Why I didn't like him for a long time. That's fair. And then I've, I've he won me over. But yeah, the writing and the polish is so good that you yeah. can't you can't argue with it. Also, Stephen Hawking. I don't know if you know this, but as a young man, he uh, he fucked a lot. Yeah. Well, no, and as an old man too. Yeah, he was uh, he, <laughs> pretty awesome. Yeah. Uh, so he literally you know. got like the whole Joe Urell like buddy bus system to go take him to be pooped on in sex <laughs> clubs, and just for me to like. If I had to, every time I wanted to, like, have sex or jerk off, if I had to call, like, three separate phone numbers by teletyping with my eyes, I don't think I would ever fuck again. <laughs> yeah. But Homeboy just wanted it more. He's like, God damn it. I, they named a kind of radiation after me. I deserve to have a leathery <laughs> ass in my face. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so uh, everyone's been complaining that the show is bad now and it's not structured enough. So I've I've really I've really good, done a lot of work to my to make sure we have a good structured good time. You know, like a like a Mormon family vacation. I don't you know, trust this. From two thirty to four <laughs> at souvenir time, four to five. That's when we're walking down by the pier. Everything is going to be beaded out. So I want to get into a couple things. Last night, Tom Goss uh, went to CVS to get sour candy uh, in preparation for uh, getting high. Yeah, that's what I eat, sour candy. That's what he likes to do. (laughs) And so imagine, if you will, Tom Goss in in the CVS wearing the world's worst outfit of just six different, you know, (laughs) kinds of exercise clothes, each for a different sporting activity, (laughs) uh, looking just unshaven and deranged. His beard is uneven. So it it, it looks, you know, all this happened is you shave. I look like I live outside that CVS. You do, yeah. Yeah. When you've shaved your beard wrong... so it looks like your face is deformed because yeah, your beard is the, is the only thing that gives you any semblance of a jaw. Yeah, yeah. it's my face. It's like play doh. You gotta you gotta form out what what shape you want. So and, he looks uh, like he's like a, a guy who survived a very mild form of jaw cancer <laughs> at the CVS, who's currently <laughs> preparing for some kind of garbage barge boxing league, and uh, he's trying to decide what sour candy to get. He's like, I promised myself I'd only get one bag. He's like, okay, do I get this bag? It says extreme sour, so that's more sour. Or do I get the big patch, kids? Because there's more candy in that bag. I can only get one bag. That one's more sour. There's more candy in this bag. That one's more sour. But this one has more candy in the bag. And he goes back and forth for four minutes. And I'm just standing there, like, watching. And then he finally decides he gets the extreme sour patch, you know, the more sour bag. He walks five steps towards the register, and he goes back and gets the other bag. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it was worth it, because I got, I got the highest I've been in a very, 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 very long time. Are you sure you picked the right number of varies? You'd no, s- man. You really struggle with that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like very, very... He, he no, chose very long <laughs> He chose four berries and he walked to the register and was like, "No, wait a minute, five berries." <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Well, well, this one's very, very sour, but these are very, very, very big. <laughs> very, very, very sour. Very, 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 very big. <laughs> yeah. Well, I was also I also got six protein cookies to work out for f- workout food throughout the week. Yeah. So he just I hadn't seen those flavors before. So he brings up a whole fucking <laughs> shipping pallet full of <laughs> muscle cookies <laughs> and two two big duffel bags of sour candy to the register, and they just they just looked at him and uh, yeah. So that was a lot of fun. Yeah. Still the most normal person to shop at that CVS. Dude, that CVS. It I mean, it's terrifying. It's the CVS right on the border of downtown LA and Echo Ooh. Park, and I suspect that. Homeless people go down to downtown during the day to, like, you know, beg or whatever, like, walk around. And then they come back to Echo Park, where it's a little quieter to sleep. And they make a pit stop at this, this pit stop <laughs> at the CVS at the end of the day. So it's basically, it's like the last gas station to Vegas for homeless people. Yeah. You know? yeah. It's basically it's like brutal. Baker, Nevada of Los <laughs> Angeles for people without cars. It's pretty bad. Yeah. No, well, I, yeah, every time like it, it looks like that like it's the human version of all like the homeless cats from that Disney movie. You know? <laughs> it's like singing sea shanties by the trash cans. And <laughs> it's the the one convenience store in Mad Max. It's just like a bunch of fucking. It's fucking barter town, dude. Yeah. yeah, there's a whole there's a wheel you have to spin if you <laughs> if you disrupt the group. <laughs> <laughs> there's a man wearing shirts made out of hair. You know, it's oh, just. Like, <laughs> oh man, I got changed, Harry. Okay, come on, let's go. <laughs> let's go behind the chain link fence. Yeah, that was that was, uh, and then later I got high. I couldn't remember. 
Otto and George. What did I call it? Oh yeah, Tom was. We were watching Old Evening at the Improvs, and we were watching old, oh, like Jeff old Dunham. Jeff Dunham video. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like before he was famous. And Tom was like, "What's that other ventriloquist? He's really dirty. It's like Otis and Otter or something. <laughs> 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 it's like it's like uh, it's like." Odie and Phil, or something like that. I don't know. Yeah, so we. Yeah, we I was really George. stuck on Otis. It was like Otis and and uh, Milo Otto. and Otis. Is it yeah, Milo Otis. and Otis? <laughs> yeah, well, one of them, the cat has its hand up the dog's ass, and it's just like, <laughs> "Hey, sweetheart, uh, how would you fucking help me find my way home or whatever this movie's about?" Come on, <laughs> Otis and Osmond. I think Osmond wasn't that the Green Goblin in the first Spider-Man. Yeah, Tom just rattled off like Harry Osborn cock talk shows that oh, were canceled. Osborne. Yeah, like Otis and Osmond, the short-lived NBC replacement for <laughs> Doctor <laughs> Phil in the late seventies. <laughs> yeah, was it was a Diana thing? Shore and Henry the Puppet or something? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, we did that. Um, Tom shaved his beard. Which yeah, was, that beer was freaking me out last night. Yeah, Tom got high, and he was just like, he kept saying, like, periodically, he'd just look off into space and be like, I need to shave my beard. <laughs> <laughs> like, he just realized his beard was giving him cancer, and he's just, you know. Yeah, I walked in, and the first thing Tom said was, I need to shave my head. It's uneven. I'm just going to shave it all off. Oh, yeah. you did that, in bef- like, in the time that Isaac was outside? No, 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 no. I need to, like, continue shaving it. Oh, okay. It looks fine to me, but. I feel like once I fully shave it, it'll make my head look more symmetrical. <laughs> I don't know if there's anything that can do that, you know. More, not symmetrical. Tommy, if you symmetrical. if you shave your head all the way, you're gonna look like Mr. Clean's like retarded brother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm the guy that makes the house dirty for my <laughs> yeah. brother. I'm Mr. I, Dirty. Yeah, I'm Mr. Dirt. <laughs> Mr. Dirty. Use my magic <laughs> marker <laughs> to fuck up the walls. You can pee places with me. Yeah. Mr. Dirty. Hey, I'm Mr. Dirty. I make the trash bags that uh, puncture as soon as the corner of a cardboard box finds I use coffee the bag. grounds as wallpaper. Mr. Mr. Dirty. <laughs> I took a shit in the tub. I'm Mr. Dirty. Wow. Why am I doing that? It's in the name. <laughs> Mr. Dirty. <laughs> I store my food in the <laughs> oven and cook it in the fridge, Mister Dirty. Does our? I, I still don't know. I've I don't really for two know years. Either. I don't know yeah, if our oven works. I, I no think idea. it does, but I don't, I've never used it. That's fair. I don't. I don't use the oven. Someone made that pumpkin bread that was expired that I ate that one time. Oh yeah, that was Ramsey. So I guess it does work. Yeah. Do you live alone or do you live with people? I live with four other people. Oh okay. Who do you live with? Do we know them? Uh no. They're okay. all they're they're all like comedy adjacent people. Uh except for one of them who's not at all. And then one of their girlfriends lives with them, which is why our house is clean. Uh, oh, she nice. insists we have a chore chart now. There's uh. Everything is not clean. I mean, I hope she doesn't listen to this because I, I don't like I am the dirtiest person in the house by far. Like really? the, the way your house is, is the way I hit you up to move in with us. Yeah, like, I would. Oh, you know, I have a place to live. My my name is on the lease and I'm stuck there for at least another uh, like six months. You have a lease. You pussy. Nerd. Yeah. You just well, PayPal a guy that looks like Duke Nukem. <laughs> bucks every month. <laughs> and once a quarter, he shows up with a terrifying ex-convict and rakes up the leaves. It's beautiful. <laughs> Sharing yeah, economy heaven. <laughs> I mean, it, you know, it's just she we wants tried it. to look up who owns this house on the city of Los Angeles's website, and they don't have any idea. Yeah, they have... <laughs> what if you're just squatting here and you don't know? And we're, we're just, just paying probably... a dude to squat. I think that might be what's happening. It might be. Yeah, I mean, it, there's a there's also a good chance that this is like fucking like a weird in between land that doesn't belong to like you know any particular <laughs> like unincorporated. You know, that's fair. That's fair. No idea. But yeah, we have a we have a chore chart and like some of the chores are just like vacuum the living room or whatever. And like I'll do it. So you're supposed to do the chores once a week, which is too much already, I think, for some of them. And then like I vacuum the living room and then like she'll come out and vacuum the living room two days later. I'm like, well, then why make me do it if you're going to do this anyway? I don't do a better girl. I actually care about this job. Than yeah, I, you know. I don't understand. I don't understand people who live in a clean house. I don't get it. I don't understand why you would do that. Uh, it makes no sense to me. <laughs> yeah, well, because look, this is this is the the, the ba- basis of my friendship with Isaac is just not respecting ourselves. <laughs> you know, you don't really, you really don't. It's the ultimate and life. And me hack. not yeah. respecting me is also part. Of that's, <laughs> another, that's that's the second level of the food pyramid. Yeah. Stand up comedy. The Number Maslow's one. hierarchy of needs. Yeah, yeah exactly. not respecting yourself, not respecting others, <laughs> not respecting the industry, not yeah. respecting Tom specifically. <laughs> and then the very pinnacle is when you lose respect for the art form itself. Yeah, and that's, that's when you become true. Really enlightened. <laughs> like, 
like, yeah, we're just fucking clowns. This is, but this doesn't change the world. Oh man, I won. <laughs> we we had a house meeting recently. Uh, that uh, was nothing worse in the world than a house meeting. Yeah, and I, I clearly everyone had planned it around me without my knowledge because I was just. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, we've been in the center of a few of those, friends. <laughs> we know exactly what you're talking. Well, about. So I'm never necessary to be at the meetings. Ever, I feel like every meeting, I'm like, oh, yeah, I could be there. So two hours after we scheduled it, I was like, nah, that's all right. <laughs> like, I, was, dude, I, w- I wish I could miss the house meeting. It's always, <laughs> it's always just like, yo, this is like just a thinly veiled intervention for the fact that Connor uh, is uh, slowly killing himself with, uh, you know, f- neglect. So, like, but, like, that's fine if you want to slowly kill yourself with neglect, but wipe the stove after. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I was just sitting on the couch, and then suddenly all four of them walked in, essentially, at the same time. And I was just like, ah, oh, shit. And they're never all, n- none of us are always in the they're same place. They're all wearing place. black Reservoir Dog suits. Yeah, just man. Like, uh-oh. <laughs> they're just like, we need to talk about, you know, things, how, what we like, what's going on in the house, what we don't like that's going on in the house. And just everything was stuff I do. They're like, so you need, Isaac, your room is smelling. So, yeah, the, uh, the, foot, the uh, basketball draft is getting a little... Little loud. Uh, <laughs> that's just something we all need to keep in mind. Oh, I'm the only one who drafts uh, fantasy basketball. Yeah, you know, just everybody. It's you know, no. That was literally everybody. one of the complaints was that I play 2K too loudly at night. Uh, I have to I have to keep my voice down when I play 2K at 2 a.m. Uh, I am I am too passionate about the game. Another uh, was we know you like talking to your pals on mic, but yeah, some uh, of us have to work. Yeah. So. Another was that uh, my room apparently smells and is smelling up the entire upstairs of the house, and I have to clean it for that reason. Oh, your room is smelling up the whole house. They can't describe wow. the smell. I don't know what it smells like. It they smells can't like describe the smell. I was like, "What does it smell <laughs> it like?" Like They're... Isaac lives in there. Yeah, they, they couldn't tell me what it is. I think it's just dirty clothes. I don't think it smells that bad, but I I, it. I I have no sense of smell. I'm from a dairy town, so I walked around every day being waterboarded by cow shit. So I, like, I just don't notice smells really. Yeah. I live in it, so I definitely don't notice it. But yeah, they're like, it smells, and you have to. Anyway, it was a big meeting, and I was very unhappy. And they're like, do you have any complaints? And I, I should have said something, but I was so beaten down. I was just like, no, everything's great. <laughs> no, I never do either. I'm always just like, I thought we were all really good friends. I'm sorry. I like you guys. Uh, I don't know. I guess maybe don't throw away my kale if it's in the freezer. I like to freeze it so it blends easier. But other than that. <laughs> You remember when you go into someone else's house for like the first time when you were a little kid and it would smell different? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I still remember the smell of this one motherfucker's house. I remember just walking in and being like, how do they live like this? This yeah. is insane. This isn't the right smell. I, I knew a kid in elementary school whose mom was blind, I think, and we went to I went to his birthday party at a bowling alley once and we took his car and I, was, I just got it and I was just like, oh my God. <laughs> I think I was young enough that I said something to me. I was just like, your car smells weird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. You're fucking, you just don't get what. Te- I still have not learned to not say this house smells weird. <laughs> Unfortunately, yeah. I mean, you know, so people got to know. Did you ever play pranks on his blind mom? No, I was not. I was like, I was the one pity friend he had because he was such a weird kid. Oh, okay. His name was also Hirsch, which was bad because we got lumped together a lot. Oh yeah, then you're kind of like, oh shit, this. Yeah, really- but he was like. He was like a Middle Eastern her. She was like Arabic, and I was like, I'm not that. Yeah, yeah, you are aggressively not. Yeah, but people would be like, ah, oh, you got the Hirsch disease. And I'd be like, come on. And they'd be like, no, 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 it's named after Jordan. I'd be like, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, that'd be like, um, yeah, you would have those situations. I think we probably all did when you were a kid, and you're just like, well, you and me, this other guy, it's like, well, look, it's not great, and we don't necessarily like each other, but no one else is going to do this, so I guess we have to hang out. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we have nothing in common, but we are the three leftovers in the class. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, I, I uh, definitely did some of that in middle school and uh, elementary school and high school, so, you know. My move is in elementary school, I had, like, one friend a year, and then I would, like, weird them out, and then they would, like, ditch me the next year, and they never knew me. Until finally, in fifth grade, I just didn't have any friends. Everyone was like, nah, yeah, we kind of got a bad reputation. I don't know about this. <laughs> in high school, my whole friend group was just, like, guys who also played video games. Like, we had, or, like, guys who would, like, I assume in your case, it'd be, like, Yu-Gi-Oh! or something, right? Yeah. Where it's just, like, you have nothing in common beyond the fact you all own Nintendo DSs yeah, and exactly. have Mario Kart. Yeah. It's just like, man, I don't enjoy playing, I like hanging out with these guys at all, but I do kick their ass at Mario Kart every morning. So I guess, so I this, guess is my, this is what friendship is. These are my friends now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
No, I mean, I, I had a group, and we just kind of all developed together, which was a good and bad thing, because we sort of found one another, and then we just sort of stuck together. But it's like, this definitely stunted our ability to exist in the world effectively, <laughs> because we, we just lived in an echo chamber where all you wanted to talk about was, you know, the zombie survival guide and fucking, you know, the whatever weird fucking reality show we were watching on A&E, you know? Like, it was just kind of like we just insulated ourselves. Tom, what were, what were your high school friends like? Oh, I, I kind of tuned out for a while. High school friends? Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, Tom, you were also on this podcast. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. It's, <laughs> I was thinking about it's just other things. Well, um, pray uh, tell, what were you thinking about? I bet it's oh, more interesting. Uh, well, it, 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 I mean, I was thinking about joke off and how many of the jokes are going to do well and then poor. And then I was like, ah, oh, they're talking about something i should listen it was a lot of me telling me to listen to you guys yeah but i could not actually t- doing the command just realizing that you should do yeah, it yeah well i was just like i i don't i did that it said i'm bored and then i thought about the cookies in the other room and oh Tom, the pipe we should let me show you guys right, the yeah. pipe we'll show isaac tom's new pipe and, and then we'll start the yeah so, so, so let me, go grab the pipe let me let me set this up real quick first i've been thinking about buying a fedora and i'm going to be completely honest with the listeners cuz they had my back it was mostly to fuck with Keith. That was the reason I wanted the fedora. Yeah. Because I wanted to wear it during Mean Boys recordings <laughs> to upset Keith. <laughs> Just every Tom, uh, my, my podcasting hat. We can't stop. Exactly. exactly. My podcasting hat. Exactly. I thought it would be a funny bit. And Keith was just like, you, you don't understand. Well, yeah, yeah, Tom leaves the hat inside a Dunkin' Donuts right before they close. And he has to like, reach under the steel gate. No! <laughs> Keith was like, you don't understand the kind of people who wear fedoras. And you can't do that. I was like, no, I can't. It'll be a Mean Boys fedora. I'm going to get, like, a Hot Wheel, like, flames on it. And, <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, like hot, hot like a Guy flame. Fieri fedora? Yeah, like, I'm <laughs> yeah. really going to go for you it. You want to look like the trombone player in, like, a 45-year-old guy ska band? It was, well, there's it was, nothing wrong with ska. It was all... Oh, wow, I forgot we have a scopologist here. Yeah. <laughs> it was all in the, in, the, in the effort to just upset Keith. And then the other day, someone was like, I smoke a pipe, and I enjoy smoking a pipe. And I was like, you know what I'm going to do impulsively? Oh, yeah, Tom was at his meeting of the League of Extraordinary <laughs> Gentlemen. And he decided, oh, yeah, these guys got to figure it out. And I was just like, I'm also going to buy a pipe. So I buy the pipe, and I get the pipe, and I hold the pipe, and I'm like, ah, oh, I just I feel like a bad dude. Like, I, I, like it, it, I just look like a psycho holding the pipe. A bad dude in the good sense or the bad sense? Like, the kind of guy who makes a kid to punch it. So not, not the kind of bad dude who saves the president. Like, the kind of... No, the kind of, yeah, no. Yeah. Like, an not evil like dude. 90s bad. You like, look 50s like, m- bad. Much more Moriarty than Holmes with your big pipe. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm Holmesy. Uh, okay, well, I'm a, I'm a, hey. Yeah, go, Tom's going to go get the pipe. And Tom's like, yeah, I don't know if it's better for me. I think it is. And I'm like, yeah, Tom, I couldn't tell you. We'd have to call a doctor from 200 years ago. <laughs> I don't think I... Holy have. shit. <laughs> right? That is huge. It's uh, it's about it's about what? A, a foot and a half? Maybe almost two feet long? I think it's, I think it's Dude, I... Close to two feet, yeah. yeah. I feel like fucking like Rene Magritte and I'm just like, that's not a pipe. This is a pipe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and here's the problem: is as weird as well, I look, you holding cannot, mo- you can't, don't twirl it like you're uh, fucking leading a march- <laughs> marching band. It's it's too long, Tom. There there is no reason a pipe. This seems like a novelty pipe. There's Gandalf no re- smoked one of these. Yeah, uh, he's also a fictional character. Yeah, he's an old man wizard. I, but yeah. here's the problem: I really enjoy the taste of smoking a pipe now. Yeah, but get a regular pipe. That's just I this mean, this pipe is great. I got a smaller pipe. It sucks ass. It looks like a slide whistle. <laughs> it looks like you should make a zany sound effect every time you smoke out of it. We should make a pipe that's also a slide whistle for slapstick comedians. Look, after the podcast, we will, we, we're we going to smoke this together. Uh, I've, I've never smoked before in my life, so I don't, I don't want to start it's with like a, cigar. Uh, it doesn't even a count. zany pipe. Yeah, no, it doesn't count if it looks stupid. <laughs> <laughs> if it makes you look cool, then it's dangerous, because then you realize, oh, this will complete my image. But this, this just this, makes you what, look like what a What a way, to, way to start this would be, Isaac. I I that's I like going right to heroin. That's I like, have that's to like decline. Being I at a party and saying like, "Hey, we're going to smoke some weed out of a soda can." That's cool. I brought my fucking own white china to shoot up with in the backyard. Is it weird that as a kid I never got offered to smoke weed with people, but everyone offered that's not weird. heroin with me? <laughs> Did people really offer you to do a heroin? A lot. Yeah, like, wow. like I've never had anyone offer me heroin. No. Yeah, like a, probably a half dozen times before I someone offered me to smoke some 420 with them. 
Yeah, you know what? The fact that no one's offered to do heroin with me is really proving that I'm not interacting with the Mean Boys fans. <laughs> I've, I've been neglecting you guys. I apologize. Well, now and now you're like walking around with it all like 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 uh, like jaunty, like you're the bitch of Buckenwald walking around the fucking concentration camp deciding it looks which like person those, to turn into a lamp today. You, you ever see those Native like American clubs club. that have like the little oh, knot yeah. on top or like, like a shillelagh ah. or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. sounds Irish, but yeah. It is Irish, but I don't know what those are. I know what you're talking about. I don't know what they're called. That's what it looks like. It's pretty... I mean, if you hold it like that, it looks like a goddamn, like, question mark or like an, a, a big apostrophe. Well, yeah, if you hold it from the part you hit out of, it's got the little bowl at the end. It looks like you're going to go put out candles in Dracula's <laughs> house. You know? <laughs> psst, psst. All right, now now we feed. The ritual is complete. Yeah, so Tom got a pipe. I've been growing out my, uh, my fall depression beard, but once every year and a half, I try to grow out. Some facial hair. I can't do it. How long has that been growing, what you have on your face? It's probably six days. Ah, damn, dude. That's... I mean, I can't grow facial hair either, but mine shows up. Like, Yeah, no, it's not... It, what happens is I just look blurry when I grow a beard. <laughs> I, just look like, I look like Pigpen from Charlie Brown, and if you look at me from the distance, you're like, is that is that human being in low resolution? Is that like a digital camera from 2006 picture of a guy that's become real? I, I have like the I have the same level of like texture and shading as like a golden eye character when I have a beard. <laughs> Good Lord. Yeah, I mean, I didn't... If you hadn't said I'm growing out a beard, I wouldn't have noticed, really. Yeah. Did you trim it up or something? I shaved my neck. It grows in thick as fuck on my neck. Yeah, yeah. I can see it st- starting there a little yeah, bit. I just shaved this 20 minutes ago. <laughs> my neck grows in, like, dark and thick and fierce. Oh, you know? the same thing. That's that's how I know I'm genetically fucking designed to be a shut-in that <laughs> excludes himself from the gene pool. You know, I have the fucking neck beard DNA marker, you know, which means my ancestors probably played some kind of stone tablet-based card game and, you know, didn't breed. <laughs> yeah. Well, speaking... Speaking of next, the Mexican joke off, everybody. Should we get into it? Hey, so topical. Yeah. Ah, okay, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ay, yeah, yeah. Ay, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'll, uh, I'll take us away this week. Uh, I actually kind of tried, and they're still pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just want to say that however long Connor says he spent on his jokes, I spent one minute less than that. I spent about I spent about an hour and a half on him. Oh, I spent really? Uh, I did. Yeah, that's more to the last year combined. <laughs> no, I, did. I mean, oftentimes I do. Well, the problem is I've just been I've been writing jokes for right. about ten hours a day for the last two weeks. Uh, including weekends too, just for other like ghostwriting projects and shit I've gotten hit up for. So I'm pretty. I I don't really know what comedy is anymore. <laughs> I'm like, it has not made me better at it. Yeah. So uh, I'll take us away. A shocking expose from inside ICE's largest detention center reported that guards call attempted suicides quote failures. Even more sickening, they call farts poozies and pooping making browns. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a promising golfer was stabbed to death. A hole in one, more like a bunch of holes in one lady. <laughs> ha cha cha cha. <laughs> yeah. Did your family have any weird nicknames for like bodily functions? You know, do you ever have? Do you have any of that? We used no. to call farting. Uh, uh, my mom would say you stepped on a duck. It's <laughs> kind of. That's fun. so whimsical. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We called breastfeeding knee. What? <laughs> Yeah. Oh, what the fucking shit are you talking yeah. about? Knee? Yeah. Like the, the body part? Like use it in a sentence. Like like my little sister was like, I want it. My mom was like, you want a knee? And they were like, yeah, knee, knee, knee. And then she'd breastfeed them. You know, I actually kind of... I mean, they were they were breastfeeding ages. Uh, that, I don't you know what that means in the Goss family. That could be <laughs> two or seven. I think, I think like... I stopped when I was like two... And then I think some of my siblings, I think my youngest sibling went to like four or something like that. That's pretty late. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's not surprising. I guess, you know, we called breastfeeding uh, a giggy because my sister, like. <laughs> <laughs> Me, a giggy? Where's Lil Wayne song ever? Giggy, <laughs> my, sister, <laughs> my sister was like very verbal, even though she didn't like speak words, but like. Oh, she was a sound mother. Yeah, brother? yeah. She'd be yeah. Oogie- she talked like a Sims character. <laughs> 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 Oogie Oog- was milk, and Oogie was giver of milk, which is my mom. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> I don't like that you have written formal definitions for this. Well, we Oogie, just... giver of milk. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off with it. That's uh, so haunting. <laughs> were you raised on some kind of like farmland, like religious compound? No, no. My parents were just librarians, so we had to like. Formerly two librarians, <laughs> both of them. Yeah. Of sense. Whoa, dude! They must have had the world's quietest sex. <laughs> <laughs> well, not. I mean, they you know. meet in the library. 
Yeah, they met in library okay, school. Good. In library school. There's a library school? Yeah, it's, it's, well, yeah it was where you study library what? science. It's, yeah. the, that's the it's, gra- it's grad school for librarians. I know it sounds fun. Like, library school sounds like a fucking porn genre or something, but it's... Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's just boring ass library grad school. What, what I mean, you know the alphabet. What else do you really need? I feel like I don't fucking. I mean, apparently it's like all information science. According to them, they, my mom explained it to me once, and I just sort of ignored it because it was so boring. But like, mm-hmm. there's a lot to learn, I guess, as a library science person. <laughs> yeah. Whereas you spent your life focusing on, you know, more intellectual pursuits, like uh, make sure that hat riots are properly <laughs> citated on Wikipedia. Hey, my articles. parents are very proud of me for that. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that probably was. They probably put that on the fridge, right? <laughs> <laughs> yep. A Tennessee man attacked his son with a chainsaw, but ended up losing his leg when his son ran him over with a riding mower. This was later revealed to just be viral marketing for the new horror movie Leatherface vs. the Lawnmower Man. <laughs> <laughs> I do hate when you see like a cool, fun, like, wow, what a spontaneous video. Then you realize, like, oh, you can see the logo of that shoe. This is all fake. <laughs> they did that with the sh- kind of shoe when they, they made that fake running on water video. You know, where these guys were like, they claimed to figure out how to run like 10 steps on water. And it was just like a viral marketing campaign for this like shitty Vibram knockoff. Nah, that sucks. But I was like, everyone was like, whoa, running on water. You can do it for like a week. And then they're like, ah, we got you. <laughs> All right. India has been hit with the biggest outbreak of the head shrinking Zika virus to date. The country surgeon general told the press, it looks like everybody's using golden eye cheat codes out here. <laughs> it shrinks your head. I thought I it made your head bigger. Is there a shrink your head in gold? I thought it shrunk your head. No, I, know every, I, I know I called it reverse Joe Dodge syndrome a long time ago <laughs> to, to mock his large head. Okay, the classic video game shoot is big head mode, where everyone just has enormous heads. Everyone, you, everyone's Mr. Mackey from South Park. Yeah. I think there was also Tiny Head in the Golden Knight, too, but oh, I could okay. be wrong. That'd be interesting. I remember that was one of the first like sandbox like cheat code kind of games where you'd be like, whoa, we can make the rockets freeze in midair, and that's cool for some reason. Yeah, I think Zika shrinks your head. But that's, that's not what we argue. We're oh, arguing about whether it happens in got... Goldeneye. No, oh, Zika definitely oh, yeah. shrinks your head. No, yeah. I don't know about that James Bond stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about your big city James Bond games. <laughs> now, I may just be a, a simple country Zika haver, but... Yeah. <laughs> I'm just a simple country plague victim. <laughs> <laughs> Never wanted no trouble from nobody. Uh, drunk birds have become a problem in Europe. We all enjoy getting crunk and listening to Lil John, but now from the windows to the wall is a description of pigeon genocide. <laughs> what? I, I, <laughs> Damn it. I think I misunderstood the premise or so something. It's, birds are crashing in the walls? Yeah, b- birds are getting drunk. They, they, they tend to kill themselves by flying into windows. Really? Uh, they're getting drunk by, like, drinking alcohol? So apparently there's, like, a berry that fermented too much, uh. Uh, and the pigeons aren't, mi- or the birds aren't migrating the way they're supposed to, <laughs> so they're, all the berries have fermented and then they're just getting drunk off eating these berries and they <laughs> so just the like, birds are like somebody spike the punch man yeah, they're they're just south. Like, <laughs> flying around waste and like they're apparently drunk too people like they're fucking yeah i uh falling over and shit we had this pigeon kind of crash land on our street when we were kids we lived in this cul-de-sac and uh it ate like a pesticide so it was throwing up so like the pigeon like it was we thought it was dead in the gutter and then it gets up it starts waddling around and then it just like literally like a like a person just like 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 doubles over and barfs you know and like this there's a hungover pigeon that we tried to nurse back to health and then all the parents yelled at us like are you gonna get pigeon aids we're like but it's sad and we went and tried to help it it just was dead oh fuck yeah what a a sad story yeah magical times there's also a time when a bird like hit like hatched early and then fell out of its nest and it's like skin was all clear and you could see it like bleeding and Turtley, ah. and we're just all standing around looking at it at like twelve years old, just like fuck. <laughs> that would have really traumatized. Life me. is a bitch, dude. <laughs> <laughs> A, uh, a Florida gas station has posted a sign warning customers not to heat up urine in the microwave. Wow, I guess we know where they airlifted those mountain goats to. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Wow, the mountain Wow, goats a callback to an episode you weren't even on. Uh, yep. just, wow, dude. Look Isaac, at the big brain on Hirsch. Isaac really, like, uh, fucking doing the research. I, I, I know. I don't even have a callback to the last episode. That's what I would do if I was ever, like, on Adam Carolla or something, is I would just be doing like th- talking about shit they did in 2006. I'd be like, hey, uh, can I talk to Isaac Hayes really quick? And they'd be like, oh, uh, yeah, I guess. And I'm like, oh, this is so cool. <laughs> yeah, the, the thing about listening to a podcast that you end up on is that you don't want to, like, come off too much like you know too much about the podcast. Yeah, because if you, if you come off as a fan, then you know that that's, that just gives us fuel to mock you. Or whatever. Yeah, yeah, I just listen sometimes. <laughs> Oh, okay. It's fine. It's it's okay that you. I'm fl- I'm very flattered. You like the show, and I'm gonna mock you. I'll take what I can get. You know? All right. Hell yeah, dude. I mean, in a world where it's gotten popular enough that people are starting to tweet me things that I find very upsetting. It, <laughs> yeah, anybody that's cool that I like and respect that thinks it's funny, I'm like, oh, thank God, it's not just that guy who's. <laughs> 
news articles about, hey, did you see that this horse fucked this kid to death? Thought of you. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thanks, man. Uh, glad you liked the show. Yeah, I listened when, uh, in between hitting my girlfriend and working at, okay, well, uh, take care. Don't cancel your Patreon <laughs> pledge, but stop doing that. <laughs> Connor, I tried have, to call yeah. you. I tried to write you. You, have, you just have Stan. Oh, a Stan? <laughs> yeah. No, I don't think I would be, I don't think I would get the Stan letter. I think uh, Keith and Tom would more get that. I think people see me as more of a, uh, more of a bonding agent for the elements of the show that they enjoy. They're like, well, Connor talks too much, but he is the only one who knows how the computer works. So. <laughs> <laughs> he is a, he's a reluctant part of the program. <laughs> uh, yeah. t- uh, tens of thousands of people marched in France to demand action on climate change. The UN's climate report stated that by 2035 it would be too warm for black and white striped turtlenecks. <laughs> and that's, that's what got the thousands of people mobilized in the street, is <laughs> they couldn't wear their favorite outfit. <laughs> I missed it. It's just... It's just a joke about the French. It was a bad joke about what French people wear. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right. Here, here's a bear lead. I got, I got a, it, it replaced a worse joke about a bear that's a detective, so I think <laughs> there's no real winners Here, in that. Is that the news story or the punchline of the joke? That'd be the punchline. Ah, damn. Yeah, okay. Yeah. The, the news story was something about Putin killing some journalist or something. All right. Mm. Here's a joke about Venom. You guys know Venom? The movie? Yeah. What do you think it is? I, I hope it's a joke about Venom the Substance, but I'm, I'm eagerly <laughs> listening either way. <laughs> the Substance, the character of the film based on the latter. <laughs> All right. It's the Substance as a film. Oh. Venom broke box... Oh, uh, fuck. Brenham... <laughs> <laughs> My phone keeps sliding around. You, you said Brenham. <laughs> Venom broke box office records. Good news for anyone who loves comic books and hates good movies. It was bad. <laughs> Brenham it was <laughs> Brenham, yeah, okay. Tom. Yeah, I'm going to fill you up with Brenham. Tom, you know, this was one of the jokes I was thinking about while you guys were talking about, like, French dip or whatever it was you guys were talking Tom, about. French, <laughs> yeah, we're, we weren't talking about hoagies, you fat idiot. <laughs> we weren't just talking, oh, they give you that so, that tub full of meat sauce. It was either French dip or French ship, and I couldn't remember which one it was. Tom, French chewing tobacco. It's just a man's cum <laughs> that they've attached to a, a Here's one leaf. thing that's great about the pipe. The tobacco is, like, they got different flavors and shit. Tom, I, I yeah, you almost, described a vape. Like vaping. <laughs> and, well, Tom has literally tried. I don't every... like the flavor of. I don't like the, the vape. Is just like ah, here's a j- j- just like sucking on a giant strawberry. Like here's strawberry cum. Breathe it out now. It's just pure liquid fucking. You, I'm, that, you're Tom, right, Tom. You're... That does sound silly. You should smoke your two foot pipe. <laughs> 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 yeah, how ridiculous. <laughs> you're much better off walking around like you're about to solve a mystery. <laughs> Dude, I'm always solving mysteries. It's great because uh, you have the pipe of some... You, ha- you don't have enough deductive reasoning to have that pipe. <laughs> <laughs> because I've seen you try to figure out where you left your free Anaheim Ducks hat, and it, take- it takes you an hour and a half. You know, you're not solving murders. Well, I was high, and I thought my brain fell out of my head. That, that's a, that was... A- you might have been onto something there. <laughs> there <you go. laughs> All right. A bottle of French wine from 1945 fetched a record $558,000 at auction in New York on Saturday. However, the winner was disappointed after the bottle immediately started shredding itself. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Banksy, come on. <laughs> Again? You're in the wine game now, guy. Come on. Some right. people are just trying to collect the art. <laughs> That's my favorite joke in a while. I enjoyed that very much. I like that Banksy did the whole shredding the art thing as like a statement, and then I read an article, and it's like, the shredded art is now worth more. More and <laughs> Banks has got to be like, God damn it! <laughs> Did you see? I like my favorite. I watched Exit through the gift shop probably more than I've seen any other movie for some. I've reason. watched it quite a few times. Me and my friends just love watching that movie. And uh, yeah, like there's a part where he made like the uh, princess die, like like English pound note, <laughs> and he realized he's like, Oh, I thought this would be a funny joke, but then I realized I counterfeited half a million quid, and I'm like, Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, have you ever seen like that picture of the guy that they think is Banksy? Yeah, he's oh. like a British dude. He's, he's like just... an old. He's just like an old. Like he looks like a you know like a guy who just gets drunk and watches sports. Yeah, know? that's Pretty... cool. That's yeah. kind of how I imagine he'd look. Yeah, part of me thinks that he's in the background in one of the scenes for Exit Through the Gift Shop. Maybe, yeah, because it would make like if you like knew because there's got to be people who, like knows that circle. And then if there's, like, one dude who's always around, but then he's not in the movie, they're like, ah, oh, I know who it is, you know? Well, you see his, like, little Santa workshop, and you're like, well, there's definitely a team of people that know who he is. You yeah, know? of course. Yeah. So, I don't know. It's kind of interesting. He's like the anonymous of art. Yeah. Or Snowden. Yeah, the, we're, we're hitting you with the top internet analysis of <laughs> 2011. <laughs> <laughs> 
Guys, the Mean Boys are going to solve who Banksy is by the yeah. end of this episode. We're going to figure it out. Yeah. Dude, well, how, how crazy would it be if it was me the whole time? If you were Banksy? Yeah. It would be impossible. That's <laughs> what Banksy wants you to think, well, yeah, man. Yeah, because at 12 years old, you couldn't have been flying to England and hanging out with Shepard Ferry. Why yeah, the, the, the level of organization of, and of planning. That Banksy's you work was... really know how old I am. Uh, you I know mean... how old I tell you I am. Okay. <laughs> A gay penguin couple in Sydney have been given an egg to look after. If they don't break it for one week, then they'll get an A on their home economics final. <laughs> yeah, they just gave them an egg, and like one of them sits on it, the other one watches over it. It's kind of sweet. That's nice. Yeah, it's pretty cute. That's a good. That's a that's a heartwarming news story about gay penguins. Yeah, I mean they're just kind of like BFF. I don't know if they're. I don't know if they like butt fuck each other, but they just do just hang. They're like the Connor and Keith of penguins. <laughs> So there's a lot of fan fiction of the the penguins fucking each other. There's a lot of drawings of the penguins blowing each other in Viking <laughs> Uh, a couple got uh, drunk on their honeymoon and bought the hotel they were staying at. Owen Wilson, Owen Wilson Vince Vaughn, and Adam Sandler all fighting to the death of the movie rights. Uh, boom! <laughs> <laughs> that's that's uh, two movie jokes in a row, Tom. Boom, Tom. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's not great. <laughs> Bad, Tom. Bad. Go, Isaac. Okay. Uh, researchers have realized that the oldest human bones ever discovered belonged to a child that was eaten by a giant bird. It turns out that in the past, storks actually took babies away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well done, dude. I love it. That's great. The fucking stork baby, Rob. <laughs> hey, nice kid. Be ashamed if someone scooped it up in its big ass mouth and turned him into a pellet. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a bunch of storks carrying empty bindles, waiting to like pick up children. In yeah, them. yeah, they're just using them as like like little like uh, like nets. You know? <laughs> Man, yeah. How did the whole stork thing happen? What was the? You think I would know that, but I don't. I have no idea. I guess I do. Th- I guess I do. Yeah, think I, I kind of anybody... thought you would too. Like at first, like why is Connor asking? Oh, well, it's yeah. Isaac. And Isaac would go, "Well, uh, late eighteenth century English childbearing. After myth, the pterodactyl it. died, someone needed to replace it. Yeah." <laughs> I, I bet I bet it's of actually like more modern vintage than you would think. I bet it actually came like into like 1950s, the culture like yeah. 1940s. like well, twenty early twentieth century or something like that. A lot of this shit, it was a cigarette commercial that just <laughs> took yeah. fire. You know yeah, Coca Cola created the stork. Yeah, the after, bird itself. After they, after they bought Santa Claus, they had a team of fucking genetic engineers to make a bird that could scoop up fish and uh, you know act as a toilet for the Flintstones. And then they later, used <laughs> the it's a living <laughs> campaign. <laughs> That'd be so great. All right, guys. And finally, Facebook lost 30% of its value since July. The company's CFO blames the loss on a changing social media landscape in the Farmville Dust Bowl. <laughs> yeah, dude, the, the grapes of wrath is happening. I got it. Does anyone still play Farmville? I don't know if it's I bet exists. old people still play it all the dude, time. Dude, I thought about playing Farmville the other day. I was just like, all right. Just what, recently, what Tom was like, I'm going to become the number one <laughs> Mafia Wars guy. On <laughs> you know what's funny? I've re looked at Mafia Wars. It's a different game now. Really? Yeah. I played that when I first got on Facebook. Me and too. all my high school friends were there, like, Connor, stop sending me this notification so you can get an extra cup of coffee or something to give you <laughs> a point. I played Zynga Poker. I still play that every the once in a while. That? It's, it's, it's uh, you know the people who made Farmville, but they also had, like a poker game, and oh, I was okay. just like I was in my nascent gambling addiction, and I didn't realize <laughs> what was happening to me. <laughs> The, like gambling addictions are the funniest form of addiction to me. Oh, absolutely! I had a whole bit just like yeah, I couldn't really convey. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Well, not not, not my uh, grandparents. I not couldn't like right. convey to the audience how stupid it is to be addicted to gambling. Where I was like, look, other addictions like y- you give people money and then they give you drugs, and that's like the transactional nature of drug addiction. As a gambling addict, I give them money and then I just don't have money anymore. <laughs> I don't even pay <laughs> for you're, gambling. You're a, like a fin cuck. Basically, yeah. You know? <laughs> I'm glad I don't have, like, the money to gamble more. I don't right now, but I'm about to get a job, and I will again. I won 70 bucks on slots in Oklahoma. I saw that. Uh, Yeah. yeah. For me, like, the closest I came to gambling is when my buddy Ryan told me to buy Bitcoin during the big Bitcoin, you know, surge of last year. Yeah. And I was just, I felt so hopeless in my life, and I was just like, I'm literally, I'm trapped in this mountain of debt, all right? I have no prospects. I hate this life I've created for myself and what I have to do to maintain it. I resent every aspect of my fucking waking existence. This is a long shot, but fuck it. This is I, this is a good a chance of work as, as working as making it in show business. So I'll just put my last $500 into Bitcoin and hope that it turns into $750 so I can buy snacks, you know? <laughs> How to turn out. 
Uh, I cashed out like thirty dollars a head because I got nervous. <laughs> nice. I lost like a thousand dollars on cryptocurrency. Oh really? Yeah. Did you go to Abby Roberge's Bitcoin seminar? He had <laughs> <laughs> you know, a Facebook invite to. No, Jesus. Abby no. Roberge and Ari Manis were like, "Come take a cryptocurrency <laughs> investing seminar from the two dudes who buy uh, ill-advised streetwear that work at the comedy store." <laughs> Come, yeah. I mean, look. How do you think we afford our Tijuana hookers? It's only through cryptocurrency. <laughs> oh yeah. No. I I like those guys. It was just <laughs> funny. I was like, guys, well, this is, I feel like, doesn't end great for everybody. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I uh, Dan Nolan gave me some hot investment tips, and my roommate also gave me some hot investment tips, and I forgot that my roommate, like, has uh, just loves losing money. That's like his thing. Yeah, so yeah. <laughs> yeah. He, he showed me this French guru who was like, look, this guy has all the tips and stuff. And then like, I went into like his fucking discord or whatever. And he's just like, oh, this is a cult. This is like oh, literally yeah. a cult for sure. Oh, I mean, like my high school buddy uh, that we met out in Vegas. Uh, that, that oh, gave us yeah, a ride yeah. The show, he was like a big day trader for a while, mm-hmm. you know, and he had like these huge ten thousand dollars swings. He'd be posting about it on Facebook and telling telling you about his investment strategies and take my course and blah blah blah. And then we we met him in Vegas and he was living in his car doing background work for porn. Oh <laughs> man, he literally was like, "Yeah, I'm gonna see." I'm, like, he basically was the guy that got cucked in the Brazzer scene that came out. That day. <laughs> oh. So I went and shared that with my old like high school friends group, and I was like, "Hey, remember our buddy from theater?" Yeah, he's uh, d- getting cucked in porn now. <laughs> There's the guy who famously, when we were playing Yu-Gi-Oh one time, who, he's like this big black dude. We didn't, we, we you would, you just wouldn't have pegged him for a Yu-Gi-Oh guy. I he sure like, didn't. Yeah, he was like a musician. He was an actor. He was just kind of like a creative guy, and you know, sort of a, you know, wrote stuff in English class. And he's just kind of this weird, you know, big football play. You know, just the last guy you'd expect to have Yu-Gi-Oh. He walks up and he goes, "Yo, dog, you got to tra- lay down some trap cards or something. You need to protect your life points." <laughs> <laughs> he's got this big like fucking world star hip hop reaction to the duel <laughs> one of the best moments of my life and now he like lives in a car and like sells stocks Damn. I don't know so if you're, uh, if you're out there buddy I love you I hope you're doing good I'll hit him up after this uh, Tom you turn I think no I no done. you got one more joke dude oh I do yeah no oh. You want one of mine I got one about Kim Jong Un and his uh, Rolls Royce Phantom this yeah episode. what's uh, what a uh, hang on <laughs> I'm looking over at Tom's phone and it's just a blank white screen <laughs> <laughs> Is it really? <laughs> yeah, I don't know it if it was like up. slowly loading or what. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's just a blank screen. Okay, Tom, think quick. What oh, happened God. in the news? Kanye did something or other. Man, that's that would be a bad time. <laughs> uh, a cyclist in bright colors was shot by a hunter in France. There hasn't been a misfire like that since Connor came on himself because his dad walked into the room. Oh, yeah. I told Tom about the time my dad walked in on me masturbating. In UK. It <laughs> scared the cum out of me. <laughs> I can't believe that was mostly me. Like, how has this not come up on the regular episode? I couldn't believe I'd never heard that story before. I know, yeah. Well, he just walked in, and I was jerking off in the living room like an only child <laughs> and does. And just like, Dad! And I was just like, Zoink, Scoop! <laughs> <laughs> well, it's nope. just so funny because you're always like, I can't come. I can't come. No, I, guess I can't come. Why? Why? But dad comes and I come. Well, it's because I've jacked off so much. I've I've killed all but three nerve endings in my penis. So it's basically just a fucking inanimate object at this point. It's got the <laughs> texture of an old man's walking staff from a fantasy. Yeah, <laughs> Connor and I have also bonded over our, our similarly similarly broken penises. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, you know, this is what <laughs> this is what it takes to fucking <laughs> be friends. Uh, you know, with the with the Mean Boys hosts, is you gotta connect uh what was i gonna say tom oh. also told me that he had blue balls okay you gotta tell this though you gotta just give us the cliff note to this because you told me this last oh, night yeah, I, I forgot might, about it i think it, i'm gonna bring back the bit so i'm not gonna do the bit version but there was when i first got in a relationship uh i like in my head i was like she, she didn't want to hook up at first i was like that's yeah, fine but I'm not going to jerk off either. I got to save the nut for her for some reason. That was a thing in my head. Oh, wow. What what a gentleman. (laughs) (laughs) That's what every girl wants her first time out is to just drown in it. (laughs) Yeah, I was like, I'm going to save the nut. And uh, then I got blue balls. I didn't know what blue balls was. It would really fucking hurt. And then I thought I had ball cancer. Uh, And then after like a couple weeks of that, and I also like looked up the symptoms of ball cancer is like it doesn't hurt and i was like wow my my ball cancer must be really bad <laughs> it still hurts and you got like multiple ultrasounds and tests I, yeah i went to an ultrasound i got coding they prescribed me painkillers i had the same thing when i was a kid is i thought that i had testicular cancer but i just had bad gas pains and then i farted a bunch and felt better and my mom was like you idiot <laughs>
Wait, you, you, you had stomach pain from your ball? Wait, what? I just, I had gas pains, you know? Like in your you balls? A, no, it felt like they were in my balls. It was in this region, so I thought, like, oh, maybe I got tested. Why is your cancer. stomach behind your balls? <laughs> well, if it works its way down, you know, and it just kind of hurts the whole, like, abdomen area, like the Don Tian area from, you know, where chi is stored, according to Chinese monks. Wow, you've you've really lost me here. I got yeah. It. I'm on Isaac's side. Yeah, Your balls was, are weird, dude. I was revealing some of some of my weird GeoCities uh, browsing habits from back <laughs> in the day, where I thought I could give myself superpowers by concentrating hard enough. I sort of get that. I uh, I've gotten really into this Christian cult. They're very small. I've been watching their YouTube videos. <laughs> the fuck is oh, this yeah? show anymore? <laughs> uh, and they they their whole thing is that like you know like they do like exorcisms and shit, but like they don't do it like a, I demand this demon come out. They do it like it's a court proceeding. So like okay. we now ask permission to enter the courts of heaven. Lord, we want to enter your courts. Uh, demons that are here because of the sins of land defilement, you've lost your legal right. You must come out because you've lost your legal right to this body. You must leave. And the demons are looking through their books and they're like, well, <laughs> oh, God, tight. they got us. Yeah, when you're done, you're done. <laughs> <laughs> that sucks. That's a cult that literally went, what if we made exorcisms? The only cool thing about Christianity is fucking boring. <laughs> yeah, I, I love it. I, I watch it to fall asleep. Wow, that's great. Yeah. And I, I also had a thing where I, one time, this is a, just a separate story, it reminded me of my mom, is one time the toilet upstairs was broken, and I forgot, and I took a shit in it, <laughs> and me and my mom had to get, like, chopsticks and, like, fish my shit out and t- carry uh, it downstairs in a cup. Chopsticks were the, were the best thing cup? you had? Well, because what else were we going to use? A like trash a, bag. Like a plastic cup. A bag. Get a bag. Yeah, get a bag. Well, for some reason, we used the cup. Also, you know, you, you don't want a dog like... shit so that you can pick it up with a cup. I think we used it to like scoop <laughs> it up. It was. A, it was just a whole. Well, I guess why, that why, makes I, sense. the chopsticks thing blo- is the most. In in probable part of the story, it's like you're the fucking karate kid well, learning yeah, how to like. It was like I was oh, up wax a off. egg roll. You can what it was. <laughs> you can pick up shit with chopsticks. You can chop a man in the head. I don't know. Yeah. It's uh, yeah, yeah. All right, here's my last joke. A man was arrested after he was found sleeping on a park bench next to 18 bags of meth. Best of luck to Keith's new stepdad. <laughs> <laughs> He's made them into a little pillow. <laughs> Dude, Go to sleep. I'm a, well, Go to sleep. When we do the episode with Keith's Go mom, I'm gonna try to marry her. I think stepdad. I think that's the move. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, honestly, you, you probably have. You, you, she'll probably see you and have like a full like fucking nineteen. I've already promised Keith montage. I'm not going to try to fuck her. I don't well, want to do that. You won't have to try. It's. Gonna I be just want to marry her. I did the platonic marriage. <sighs> yeah, a sexless marriage. Yeah, I was. That was bound to happen with me anyway. Yeah. Yeah. And I think we're all. You know, I think She'll all three of us. <laughs> all three of us. All are, three of us are destined yeah. for a sexless what day platonic marriage. We're all marriage. thirty-five. We're just gonna be on a porch, just like I think we're gonna get really into football. Yeah. Let's, <laughs> Is, yeah, is Connor still married to that fat Jewish woman that yells at him all day? Yeah, he loves it. You know, he just, he just helps her solve her problems all the time. They never have to have sex. It's a great relationship. Oh yeah, he's got a whole study where he can jack off, and get, <laughs> to get in, you have to go through all the doors that Get Smart does in the intro, so that he has time to put it away if she comes to ask him to, you know, fucking jumpstart her car or whatever. It's fucking awesome. All right, guys, that was the Mexican joke off. Uh, the, the Mean Boys podcast will be right back right after this. All right, are you guys having a good time? Chuckle Knuckles! All right, it's time for your next comedian, a guy who was on TV 10 years ago that no one has ever heard of before. Hey there, folks. You might be sitting there going, hey, what's celebrity I look like doing here? But don't worry, I look more like if a noun, verb, and unrespected occupation... I'm part nationality, in part nationality, which makes me two stereotypes. My girlfriend is always doing something reasonable, and I'm always like, if you can do that, I should be able to do something that is upsetting to you. I mean, who do you think you are, name famous trans woman? You can't just go around doing things men do all the time. You get womanly bodily function. You can't go around doing basic job while bodily function happens to you. If you body function at that job occupation, you might get blood on a noun. I've been trying to lose weight so that group of people who are typically attractive don't keep mistaking me for group of people who are typically gross. I mean, the other day I was at a place where fat people go. And the person who worked there tried to help me the way they'd help a fat person. I was like, oh boy, I need to start going to the noun to do some verbs. Oh boy, I need to start going to the noun to do some verbs. Or I'm going to get as large as a large noun fat. 
do you ever try to coitus while fat? It's a nightmare. You're trying to verb, 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 noun, verb, noun, verb, adverb, verbing, noun, adjective, verb, adjective, noun, verb, verb. And I'm like, hey, if you wanted better, you should have verbed a black guy. Thank you. I'll be selling my Believe to Achieve shirts after the show. I just want to inspire you. Breaking news on the Mean Boys podcast. We just found out uh, Pete Davidson and Ariana Grande broke up. We just, <sighs> just The news came in 41 minutes ago. It was tweeted out by TMZ. Yeah, cray cray. Uh, yeah, I have no opinions or feelings on this matter. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought it'd be fun to do breaking news on something that will have happened two days ago. <laughs> I, when I was when I was doing uh, roast battle, I was writing for uh, for Blake Griffin a little bit, and uh, I was in his trailer, like going over his uh, set with him or whatever. And then we walk out. I walk out, and I'm going back to the you know the the fucking theater where they're shooting. And then he calls me back over for a second, asks me about something. And I'm talking to him, you know, or whatever. And then he goes, "Holy shit!" And I turn around, and I'm like, "What?" And he's like, <gasps> "And it's." <laughs> <laughs> running around, and I'm like, "Holy shit!" And me and Blake Griffin are looking at each other, like, "That's so weird." And I'm like, "Wait, this is weird. You're Blake Griffin." <laughs> it just, yeah, it's it's always weird when a famous person sees a slightly more famous person. They have like yeah, the same yeah. reaction you would. I'm like, "You're pretty much there, dude." Like, <laughs> and I'm like, "It's weird that I'm being starstruck by her with you." you know what I mean? <laughs> so that was that was my that was a fun little uh, thing I got to share with Blake Griffin that one time. <laughs> yeah. But uh, anyway, uh, it's time for a round of uh, one of our favorite games once again. Boys, let's play which of the following. We, we, we. Uh, this game comes yeah. to us. Boys cracked real bad on that. I don't we, know. We, we, we. <laughs> Tom, for a, for, a, for a gigantic man who's essentially nothing but testosterone and fucking misfiring synapses, you are an <laughs> oddly cracky voice. I'm not. I'm See, I'm not as filled with testosterone as people think. I feel like people either think I'm like a poetry dude or just well, like I fight people <laughs> on the street for fun. You've like, tamped a little testosterone down with sour candy gelatin, which is, uh, as everybody knows, it, it, it uh, blocks the receptors. So you yeah, know. I just enjoy well, pugilism and poetry. Only because he chose the large ones. So if he'd chosen the extra sour ones, it would have negated. The, no, I, I took both. He took uh, the speed ball. You know? <laughs> yeah. Well, then Tom got high and he started eating them, and he's like, "These aren't as sour as I remember." They weren't. I wonder if the pipe destroyed some of my taste buds because it is. <laughs> it's this is Tom's Twilight Zone episode. I finally found the way I like to smoke, but it stops me from enjoying sour. It's not fair. <laughs> <laughs> it's not fair. There was time now. <laughs> Time enough to eat. When did you ever not have enough time? You haven't had a job since I've known you. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I had a job when we first met. I know. I'm just kidding. Yeah, yeah, what was your job that. when you first met Connor? I think I was still working at the gas station at that point. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Or maybe I just quit. Maybe. And then I did Uber and Lyft, which isn't really a job. And by the way, when, when I first met Tom, he was driving for Lyft, uh, and I get into his car, and it looked like he was driving around the set of the movie Hostel. <laughs> <laughs> just, just blood and wrappers and various chains. And he was like, oh, yeah, no, I scooped some of that out a little bit for the passengers. <laughs> I say, help yourself to the, the, the basket full of seventh fingers. <laughs> All right. Uh, Actually, I wonder if I was working in the kitchen when we first met. Maybe. Which the kitchen the was terrible. Yeah, maybe. Which of the following? <laughs> right. Yeah, you might have been in the kitchen. I which enjoyed the, the kitchen. Hey, we're going to play which of the following? <laughs> <laughs> Someone's been complaining that the show... Oh, and I was coaching lacrosse at the time. <laughs> <laughs> I made decent I'm so excited for this game, Connor. Every once in a while, I make an offhanded <laughs> remark, and Tom just has to go fact check it. To, <laughs> <laughs> you know, but, yeah, and then he will make outlandish claims, and the only reason I don't fact check them is because I don't have nine hours <laughs> to tell him everything that's wrong with his statement. <laughs> This one comes to us from one of our doing dog listeners. shitting. All right, <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah, not like kids, but dogs. Yeah, I got that from dog sitting. Would I you do what you're the following I didn't already? Think you were dog sitting a kid. <laughs> <laughs> you're going and putting out a bowl of kibble for a nine year old. This one comes to us from <laughs> at Maddie underscore Hallman. Hey, I've been listening to your podcast in an inordinate amount, inordinate amount lately. It makes me laugh, which I appreciate. I send clips to my boyfriend from time to time. So if you guys ever come back to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, parentheses where I go to school, I can drag him with me to see the show since we'll have some familiarity. I Anyways, loved Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh was great. It Everyone, was one of my favorite places. Everybody yeah. had too good of a time in Pittsburgh. Yeah. Well, I had a great time during the show. And then afterwards, that's when I was in a relationship. And everyone's like, we're disappearing to do things. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, I'm, st I'm here. I'm going to ignore 
I'm going to watch hockey intently as drunk people try to hit on me, I think. You're going to watch oh, what? Yeah. Into- oh, hockey. Yeah, Tom, okay. Tom had one beer, watched hockey with nobody because no one wanted to talk to him about it because everyone was too horny. Yeah. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, he had to, uh, he had to retire uh, alone for the evening. Well I, well, I stayed out until 6 in the morning and then flew back to L.A. for my JFL showcase. Yeah, and yeah. I was like, hey, should I have my drink here? And everyone's like, yeah. I'm like, I got the drink. They're like, we're all leaving with different people. I'm like, okay, yeah. I'm like, going to hey, be Tom, gotta faithful be- to this girl that's going to break up with me in three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey Tom, uh, so I know, uh, I know it's your special night or whatever. I got to go play cool with the girl. I got to go play pool with the girl that has all the piercings. Okay, yeah. so I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> happy <laughs> birthday or whatever. Uh Anyway, uh, so <laughs> anyways, you guys talk about people submitting games, so I decided to make a widget of the following instead of any of my classwork because priorities. It's all Darwin Awards winners. Every year people do dumb shit that's so dumb it gets them killed, and some of them receive a Darwin Award for doing something so stupid. We're all relieved that they're no longer part of the gene pool. Enjoy, I guess, whatever. Fuck everything. God is dead. Thanks for explaining the Darwin Awards to us. I was, was not nice. on the internet in 2002, so. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I was on the internet in 2002. I think yeah. it's like an early internet thing. My yeah. uncle told me about is a little too early, but you know, you get the idea. Maybe, yeah. This was happening while I was playing Beyond Games. <laughs> My uh, uncle explained it to me a couple years ago. All right, so 2010 he round. High a lot. 2010 round. Which of the following is not a real Darwin Award winner? A. A couple parked in the right hand lane under heavy fog in a very busy freeway so they could have sex and were hit by a cargo truck. <laughs> <laughs> B, two men put four gallons of methane into a barrel, sat on top of it, and lit it on fire. <laughs> <laughs> it also, also describes Keith and I's uh, road trip where we got California burritos. Uh, come on, farts, guys. I, yeah. 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 Uh, Gas. C, a man burritos. installed an electric fence around his car to protect her from robberies, accidentally left it on, and died of electric shock. <laughs> <laughs> electrifying your entire car. That's amazing. He just put like a whole like little wrap around it. I enjoy that. D, a woman attempting to take a picture of a crocodile on a boat, leaned over the side, fell in, and was eaten. Ooh. Oh, wow, they all sound uh, plausible. Yeah. Which one of those uh, did Maddie Hallman make up to trick us? I think I think it's D, because you, anyone can slip off a boat. Like, you don't deserve an award for that. Yeah, that's okay. true. I mean, that doesn't seem like that... Out, uh, outlandish. However, I will say the guys who yeah, sat... Yeah, you guys are landlubber shaming with your, <laughs> <laughs> with your boat accidents. That's a very common thing. It's a, your, your equilibrium's off. People <laughs> fall off of boats all the time. Like, I don't think you deserve the... Hey, a nice the... boat you got here. It'd be a shame if someone <laughs> fell off of it into a crocodile. <laughs> you, I mean, like, yeah, you idiot falling, you know, that, yeah, that maybe, sounds a little... Maybe she could have won the Captain Hook Award, but the yeah, Darwin exactly. Award, I don't know about that. It can happen Con- to a Con- Disney story, character. It's not pipe. dumb. He's like, Hey, uh, it's a nice apothecary you got here. Be a shame if someone were to lick all your roots. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. Uh, what was the electric car one again? Uh, he wrapped an electric fence around his car to stop robberies, and then it shocked him to death. Oh. So he had the electric fence plugged in. Huh. I guess. We had some kind of power source. I mean, it. I don't understand why the guys in B did what they did. I, I, I truly do not understand why they sat on a barrel that they set on fire. Yeah, I mean, maybe they're just smoking on the barrel of methane after a long day at the methane factory or, or something. Or they just to fly. Yeah, I mean, uh, I'll, I'll say uh, Tom's logic makes a lot of sense for this. I'm going to say D. I have to go with Tom. Made, Tom convinced me. Okay, well, yeah, Tom was right. The correct answer is D. Oh, She they, actually uh, went swimming in an area that was clearly marked dangerous by signs and known by locals to be infested with crocodiles and hippos. She swam in the same spot three times one day and was devoured the third time. Wow. So yeah. she really pressed her luck. Yeah, she really, yeah. Round number two is the 2011-2012 round. A man completing a motorcycle ride with no helmet in an attempt to protest helmets flipped over his handlebars while he's driving. <laughs> okay, that's I think I, I think I read about that. Uh, that was pretty fun. He's like, <laughs> no, you don't need a helmet. Oh, yeah. Whoa, who left this banana peel here? <laughs> Why did I do this test on Rainbow Road? <laughs> <laughs> B, a man attempted to stand up on a roller coaster for a photo and was struck by a plank above him. C, a man attempted to plank on a balcony railing and fell. Remember planking? Were yeah, you, was yeah. that was that 2011? Was it yeah, that it long ago? God school. damn. One of my uh, friends in like, one of her senior photos was like, look at me planking in science class. This is crazy. What did he do planking? Uh, he planked on a balcony railing and fell. Okay, yeah. At least that's what Marcellus Wallace wants you to do. <laughs> uh, D, a man accidentally drank gasoline and then lit a cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> that, that one's actually about Keith Ray, who survived. <laughs> Ooh, okay. One more time quickly. Uh, we got the motorcycle helmet guy. Uh, we got the guy who stood up on a roller coaster and got hit by a plank. We got the guy who planked on a balcony and then the guy who drank gas and then lit a cigarette. I'm going to say the roller coaster one because you shouldn't do that, but like people people do that. And it also seems like the luck was on the roller coaster 
for him to die more than him being a complete free, like idiot. You know, uh-huh. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that the planking it's one indeed. is a fucking red herring because we're gonna be like, oh, planking 2012. That makes sense, but it's actually not interesting. I'm I wrong. This, I think this lady. You think okay. logic cat? I, I know I'm wrong, but let's right. go ahead. So the guesses are in. The answer B. Ah, that guy boom. was actually on a bus and was navigating a very narrow street. He leaned out so far his entire torso was out the window, and he was having a great time until his head hit a utility pole. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that guy did like you know, like the uh, mailbox baseball. He mailbox baseball <laughs> his head, his, his own dome. I had a, I had a, I had a fucking bad time with a mailbox. I was there was a girl that was I was hooking up with when I lived in Chino with my parents, and she would you know booty call me at like one in the morning or whatever, <laughs> and I would go over there. She lived right down the street, you know. So one night I'm exhausted, and she hits me up, and I'm like, ah, fuck, I should do this. It was one of those things like I don't know how many more times we're gonna keep having sex, so you should take advantage of it. And uh, I drove over to her house. I was exhausted. And I tried to park, and I like hit a winch. I hit a mailbox really hard and loud with my like car window, and like fucked it up. And I was like, "Oh shit, I got to get out of here." They definitely heard that. They're gonna come outside. So I basically went and parked down the street, and I just walked over like. <laughs> I see the family looking at the mailbox. I'm like, "Oh geez, that sucks." Anyway, off to my house where I live. <laughs> knock, knock, knock. <laughs> you know. Uh, so which? Uh, oh yeah. So it's the next round, right? Sorry. Uh, the 2013 2014 round. A. An investigative reporter froze to death while pretending to be homeless for a story. <laughs> <laughs> that rocks. B. Two men attempting to take selfies with wild elephants were trampled. C. A man stepped into quicksand in an attempt to save his friend who was also stuck in quicksand and both drowned. Or D. A man volunteered himself to be killed and then resurrected by a holy man. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. That's Damn. commitment. Yeah, these are these are some good ones. Yeah. I gave myself polio just so I could go to a, a Christian faith healer. <laughs> All right, Tom. What's what's your theory here, man? I got some theories. Yeah, I think it's uh, I think it's a quicksand one. I was going to say the same yeah. thing. Quicksand is not as deadly as it's portrayed in cartoons. Quicksand is actually it's very hard to I, die I, in quicksand. I feel like someone had a bit about that, but yeah, I did, it's not nearly as much of a problem as your like Mulaney. Mil- it's a oh, Mulaney okay. bit. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. Qu- quicksand is not. I thought I'd be stepping into quicksand constantly or whatever. Yeah, but also even if you do step into quicksand. You're you're okay most of the time. It really is not hard to get yeah. out of quicksand. You step into quicksilver, that's a problem. Right? <laughs> that guy's mad about his truck. He starts hitting it. He's got a gun. Yeah. Well, I also just think, like, would they really give a Darwin Award to someone who's trying to save another human being? Oh, man. Tom has really figured out this game. Man, Tom, really, <laughs> who would have thought he would be such a master of biology? Oh, no. He's, he's I'm just... a master of what I think is stupid. Tom, you're going to need to pick up that pipe if you're going to keep guessing correctly. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, all right, I go, we both Dude, go with C, I I've had the C, pipe inside me the whole time. All right, you guys are both going with uh, quicksand? Yeah. yeah. All right, the correct answer, quicksand. Woo! It was a cesspool, not quicksand, and seven people died because they kept climbing in one <laughs> after another to save each other. The first guy was supposed to empty the septic tank and succumb to the fumes and drowned, and when the other six people tried to save the person that leaped before them, the same thing happened. Wow. Oh, Jesus. Seven people got fucking trapped in poop quicksand. That's pretty that's, uh, that's pretty depressing. The Darwin Awards is pretty normally pretty light. That's pretty depressing when seven people die. That's too many. That just sucks that you like <laughs> literally you have to be like uh Oh, so uh, you're on a first date with a girl, and you know, right now, and you're like, okay, so uh, what, are you still are you close with your parents at all? And she's like, well, me and my mother are pretty close, and my father died in diarrhea quick. <laughs> 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 these are these are so every time you stink up her bathroom, she starts crying. He's like, I'm sorry, I Febreze, and she's like, uh, no, it's not. It's just what happened when I was young. I just uh, we had an open casket. He still mm-hmm. smelled. <laughs> these are, these are very mean spirited awards, and they're very close to being like us. Oh, some people went to a movie theater thinking they could see a movie, but they were <laughs> shot to death. <laughs> <laughs> Some idiots actually go wanted to see Christopher Nolan ruin Batman a third time. <laughs> That'd be, oh, so someone thought it'd be a good idea to de- get their degree in Santa Barbara. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, Darwin Awards are very, like they're a step away from that. Oh uh, yeah, 2001's Darwin Award is a 2094 way tie between people that worked in the corrupt banking sector of Wall Street. <laughs> this dude jumped out of a building. What did he think was going to happen? <laughs> <laughs> These jokers thought it would be a smart idea to be born in Pakistan. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> that's fun. The fucking <laughs> shitty Darwin Awards. <laughs> uh, 2017, 2018 round. Oh, wait, no. 2015, 2016 round. A, a prisoner attempted to free himself from a small rubber solitary confinement room by starting a fire and suffocated. B, a man crashed his car while driving without pants, without a seatbelt, and with porn playing on his phone. 
C, a woman attempted to hold down a mattress to the top of a moving vehicle with her body weight and slid off. <laughs> D, a man decided to go swimming in Yellowstone without a flashlight and leaped into a deep hot spring instead of the nearby stream he was trying to swim in. Oh, he got boiled. <laughs> all right, I'll uh, be completely honest. I thought about someone who wronged me, and I tuned all those out. Can I hear them again? <laughs> <laughs> who wronged you, Tom? Who wronged you, Tom? Uh, it's, it's not an on-air thing. Sorry. Can, 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 what was it? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Tom is the best. <laughs> uh, I'm being honest. What was <laughs> yeah, uh, a prisoner uh, tried to free himself from a solitary confinement room by starting a fire. He choked in the smoke and died. Okay. Uh, a man crashed his car. He was driving without pants, without a seatbelt, and he was watching porn on his phone. Okay. Uh, a woman tried to hold down a mattress to the top of a moving vehicle with her body weight, and she slid off and died. Okay. And a man tried to go swimming in Yellowstone without a flashlight. He jumped into a hot spring instead of a stream, and he was boiled alive. Mm, I'm going to go A. Okay. I'm going to uh, go I'm gonna go D. Yeah. D. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I, 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 you know, what we would do. We, wait, what was A again? A was the guy who <laughs> had a fire in the solitary confinement. Yeah, I don't know how a prisoner would be able to start a fire oh. in solitary confinement because usually they're pretty good about security. And uh, solitary. Isaac is trying to get an <laughs> ant off of himself, and this is got. Why are you one blowing of the... it towards me? What you just hang on, hang on, watch wipe this. it on what? something. Uh, you know, there just, you go, just, there you go. You spit all over your hands. Did you what make a wish, you yeah, fucking what the nerd? Fuck? Are you too what weak the... to kill an ant <laughs> crawling on your body? <laughs> what? That ant was like, I'll be fine on this. It was guy. just spit on your hand at the end of that. <laughs> was There's just a dollop of on spit. It, like you ordered a too hot bowl of soup. <laughs> like you didn't have dying. the lung capacity. I was laughing. I was laughing. I was laughing and trying to blow at the same time, so it just it came out as spit. I I was very weak. There's no good defense. I'm not. I'm going to try like to. a sad old man birthday where uh, it's like, well, you're not getting that wish, Henry. <laughs> Everyone has to eat the cake afterwards. Yeah, yeah. Oh, geez. Can you get me a piece from the box that's not out on the table yet? <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to eat icing that was left over on the box. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Box. I, we, we used to, hang, Lots we used of to box. put it on top of the car and put our hands on the windows on either side, and then they drive real fast around the neighborhood so you'd feel like Superman. That was pretty fun. Nice. Anyway, the answer, D... Uh, that did uh, that was about the Yellowstone hot spring. Hey, I was right. He was. This did happen to a female concession worker in 2000. The man who died in Yellowstone died because he blatantly ignored signs that said not to go near guys. Just went in anyway and slipped in. It just yeah, I've heard that story multiple times. It's, that's happened. Yeah. It's a bummer. I want to know how the guy got the material to start the fire in solitary. Yeah, that's what I'm wondering, too. He must have yeah. done some real Bear grill shit. Yeah. I'm yeah. going to light me up. <laughs> Man, that guy was really smart gearing up to his idiotic death. In order to survive, you got to start a fire with your own pee. <laughs> <laughs> I've been eating nothing but cinnamon-flavored candy for years. Oh, no, mountain goats. <laughs> <laughs> he gods. <laughs> Isaac's really on this mountain goat pee call. Eh? Uh, you, it's the rule of three. That's something the third that, one. Something so. that I barely remember. <laughs> what happened with that again? Oh, the goats uh, they were just, just they, addicted they, to pee. Yeah, they became addicted to the taste of human pee because it has salt and minerals in it. So they had to like move the goats out of the park because they were getting too aggressive with humans. That's funny. It's like yerba mate for goats. You're like, yeah, it's like a pick me up, but it's like much smoother than coffee. It's great, and it's, it's all like natural. It's all natural. It's all natural. <laughs> it's, it's, it tastes like it tastes like root beer without sugar. <laughs> it gives you a headache, which is good. Dude, you came when your dad walked in the room. I did, yeah. At least I didn't think I had <laughs> nut cancer. I didn't Sorry. Sorry, Tom is thinking about dads that have wronged him. <laughs> <laughs> not, not Tom presenting the fact that he saw my dad and he didn't scare any cum out of him. <laughs> Uh, that's Come, Dad. I'm not looking forward to that being a part of my uh, <laughs> internet legacy now. On top of the things people already tweet me, which is uh, stories about bestiality and toddler beheadings. <laughs> Dad, come anecdotes to the list. And finally, 2017-2018 round. A man attempted to catch a 12-foot python as a pet and was strangled. B, a man suffered a heart attack while steaming himself in what he considered a ritual cleanse. C, a man and a woman having sex in their car left the vehicle in neutral and drowned when it rolled into a lake. <laughs> <laughs> that rocks. D, two motorists nearly collided, pulled over to yell at each other, began physically fighting, and fought right into traffic before... <laughs> oh. oh, Jesus. That's a family guy sketch. That's something that happened to the giant chicken. That's fucking great. Is this all real or all fake? Uh, this is just one of them's fake. It's okay. Okay. All right. What was uh? Fuck what was into a river? What was a fighting to uh, a car? A 12 foot, uh, catching a python for a pet that mm. strangled him. I think it's a. Okay. What was B? B was a man suffered a heart attack while steaming himself uh, in an attempted ritual cleanse. People do that a lot, actually. Uh, I read a story is, like, about the there cleanse? was like. 
What's the what's the they're like they're like it's like a Native American sort of st- <laughs> a Native American steam room thing that they have. They had, there's well, like a big like a sex move you tell each other in eighth grade. Dude, I gave her the Native hurts. American steam room. Yeah, that's where I fucked her with a buffalo <laughs> horn. <laughs> there's like a ritual thing you can do in like Arizona. There was a place that was operating where people kept dying in these like ritual steam cleanses. I'm gonna go B. Oh, that's like where Tony Hinchcliffe and Joe Rogan went and took ayahuasca. Eh, like, probably. Yeah, just I realized that I'm the greatest. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, gonna go, I'm gonna go B. The great spirit told me. I'm awesome. I've unlocked my inner power. Every time I interact with Tony Hinchcliffe, he always like makes a joke about how ugly I am. I'm like, dude, if I took my glasses off, people <laughs> wouldn't be able to tell. <laughs> Buddy, you, yeah, you do look like Tony Hinchcliffe, plus a growth spurt. Yeah, like I'm just a little taller than you, and like I guess your face is a little more handsome, but barely. Like I, I, I've, I've maintained for years now that you're not a bad looking guy. I think you're pretty handsome, Isaac. Well, the way I've always explained it is that like one, obviously, I'm a comical looking skeleton man, but like remove you're very that small ears. <laughs> I, I just think small but out. Everything on my face, if I take my glasses off, I could be handsome if everything was a slightly different size. Like if my <laughs> nose was a little bigger, my lips were a little smaller, my eyes were like a little closer together, everything like that, like then suddenly I'd be like very attractive. So I'm just like yeah. a few genetic tweaks away. It looks like when you could upload your picture to a Sims game and it would make the Sim for you, you know, and you're like, that's <laughs> pretty close. Ah, not quite. It's not perfect, but it's pretty good. NBA 2K lets you scan your face in, and it's like it's just a bunch of horrible, <laughs> nightmarish monsters most of the time. You know what would be, you know, what would suck if you put your face in NBA 2K and it automatically set your stats really low. <laughs> it was like, oh, looking at this guy, he doesn't have a jump shot. It was crazy this year. The main glitch that kept happening, I. I spent like hours trying to get my face in there and like every every time it'd be like you don't have a chin i'd look like a fucking guy who like chewed too much tobacco and just like had lost his chin oh yeah yeah it was you insane have a nice jawline i have a good jawline it was just like nope no jawline yeah it's just whoop. no jawline <laughs> no jaw okay so, so i said uh the, the python one i think that's Tom's, the one yeah, I, was, I was just going python Tom. what's yes yeah, i think it's b the cleaners one the cleaners one, uh, the cleanse. Uh, the answer A. He tried to kill the snake and take it with him because it would be worth lots of money. The snake wasn't dead and didn't like that a strange man was trying to carry him back to town. So it basically played dead and then strangled his ass. Nice, dude. You got outsmarted by a snake. He did. Yeah. He got outsmarted. I think I won. I think I technically I beat Tom this time. How many funny. did you get right? Uh, four. You got All right, four? Well, Isaac, you know what that means. It means you win. Uh, <laughs> what do we got here? You win the instruction manual to my old Beats by Dre headphones. Oh, thank you so much. It's there's, an honor. There's your prize. It, it's uh, it's funny because last time I was on the show, we had a mythology one, and I like tried to use real knowledge to answer the questions, and Tom beat me, and this time it's something I know nothing about, and I, I won, and Tom seemed like he had this game on lock. And yeah, Tom, I, Isaac I, actually I, looks very proud that he won his uh, instructions. Wait, I think, <laughs> hang Isaac on, does. I think I, I, I got two wrong, there were five rounds. And huh? I got one wrong, yeah. Damn. Wow. All right, this is the most anyone's ever discussed the results you of which of the following. son of a bitch. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's four out of five is a very good score. We've only, I, think I thought only, it was going to have a perfect there's game. There's only ever been five out of five one time, I believe, when Keith did Australian Towns. <laughs> Didn't, wasn't there one about, like, hockey or something that Tom knew? Possibly, yeah. I, I, I mean, I made that one. Oh, okay, never mind. Oh, yeah. Whatever, so, I, mean, I don't I know. I got them all right, but I had the advantage of making the game. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. Uh, well, the Mean Boys podcast will be right back with your questions, comments, and all that in the Mean Boys mailbag right after a brief word from whatever we put here. And now, the only bright side to Brett Kavanaugh's appointment. Ladies and gentlemen of the board, it is with a heavy heart that I announce that as of the end of today, our company will be shutting our doors for good. The decision was not an easy one to make, but after declining sales over the past few years, it is the only course of action. My father came to Italy with nothing but a dollar in his pocket and a dream in his heart, a dream of manufacturing quality products at a fair price, and today, today, friends, that dream dies. Boss, it's a miracle. Our stock just went through the roof. We're up 400% in climbing. The company saved. Truly, this is a glorious day for Pirelli wire hangers. Hip, hip. Hooray. Hip, hip. Hooray. That was the only bright side to Brett Kavanaugh's appointment. Ladies and gentlemen, the Mean Boys podcast returns, and it's time to answer your questions, uh, listen to your voicemails, and much more in the Mean Mailbag. Boys mailbag. Mailbag. Fuck everything. God is dead. 
send us an email and give us a call. Have you ever heard the one about keeping the dog? It's a motherfucking me boys mail back. Was that? What? I actually think we can only hear one side. So I think he has the vocals panned to the right, and we can only hear the left, so we have to <laughs> sing without hearing him sing. Yeah, we were, we were probably completely off sync with you that. You know what's crazy? You guys both know the lyrics. I've only you don't know the lyrics. <laughs> no, <laughs> jingle? no, well, I don't listen to the show, and it's we don't usually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't know. I don't know why I did that. I just, uh, 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 fucking Isaac mentioned the oh, song, and I was like, it was we'll cool. I just, time. I was amazed. <laughs> Yeah. Yep. You know, anyone could have said anything. Well, I took that drink of water. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's just, uh, we, we both decided that it was, it was more important like, we don't. Uh, who cares? Okay. okay. <laughs> Did, um, Luis Galvez writes, how would you change daylight savings time? I don't know that I have any opinions on daylight savings. I, I really eliminated. don't. I'm not, I'm not a farmer, so I really don't care about <laughs> its existence. I think yeah. it should be Being completely... as I don't live an agrarian lifestyle, it doesn't affect me a ton. I, I feel like it, it, it's the only thing Arizona has correct. Eliminate it completely. It's so unnecessary. Ah, I, I, of, of the three of us, I would guess that Tom would be the one most likely to have an opinion on daylight savings. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely, yeah. Well, I mean, as a guy who lives oh, in the I'm kitchen... Oh, I'm sorry. It's not a fucking fancy hat, Isaac. Uh, <laughs> as a guy who lives in the kitchen, it does probably affect his life more than most. <laughs> you know, like, oh, they're up earlier. The sun's in my eyes. It's nonsense. <laughs> All right. Um, this guy, oh, Lou Varum, writes, Isaac, when you were living off Hold'em, what was the worst beat you took? Also, who fucks more, you, Lindsey Graham, or Cory Booker? Weird question. Uh, that is a very weird question. The first question I'm not going to answer. He's asking me about a specific hand of poker I played where I got very unlucky, and there is truly nothing less interesting than hearing someone recount a poker hand in great detail. <laughs> so I will I will spare yeah. your listeners. Like, unless it involves a, a, an Uno card or, like, some kind of death threat, I couldn't begin to give a shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I will say the worst. I think I lost, like, almost $600 one in one session once, which is uh, a lot of money. Wow. Uh yeah, I wanted to. I, w- I just sat in my car for an hour in the casino parking lot afterwards, just going, "What have you done, you you idiot?" <laughs> Six hundred dollars on one hand? No, no, not one hand. Just one, 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 one like, evening of poker. Oh, yeah. what, what kind of what song do you listen to on the drive home? What do you listen to on the drive home after doing that? After losing? Yeah. Uh, I mean, I tried to listen to music and I just turned it off. I was like, I can't, I can't listen to this anything. All sounds. This is all turning to ash in my ears. Like one, I remember the t- one of the times I ever did the best at the casino. This is like the first time I was like, wow, I could really make a living doing this. I made like seven hundred bucks or something, and I was like, hell yeah! And I drove home, and Return of the Mac came on, and I was like, yeah! I like I. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing funnier than imagining you, an 11 foot tall, 14 pound man whose waist is 20 inches uh, around and his legs are 38 inches long, rocking out to Return of the Mac in your fucking. <laughs> you drive like a like a car they sell at a police auction, basically. You yeah, drive, yeah. Like, a big ass like old Buick. Dude, I like I like truly got the song finally, yeah, yeah, and I was yeah. like, hell yeah! And then like. Coincidentally, I was driving home and like my phone played "Return of the Mac." As I was driving home from losing six hundred dollars, I was just like, "I can't listen oh, to this." Man, that's so <laughs> ironic. Your phone, your auto, your like like suggested song was fucking mocking you. Yeah. Oh man, I had a pretty shitty set last night, and I drove home. I listened to uh, "Valerie" by Amy Winehouse. Mm. Yeah, and that was my and with the windows down on sunset, just like, "Why don't you make a fool out of me?" Anyway, um, oh, and who has more sex, me, Lindsey Graham, or Cory Booker? I mean. If those guys have had sex in the last year, they've had more sex than me. So probably Corey Booker is probably running the show. That guy, that guy seems like he fucks a lot. Yeah, he fucks. He yeah, fucks. I don't know these people. They're politicians. They're senators. Oh, oh, Queef Carey writes uh, again. I love when people make Twitter handles just so they can tweet questions at us. If Tom Pewter had a girlfriend, what would her name be? Oh yeah, Tom Pewter is the is the, the is the robot that somebody made to try to learn how to exist on Earth. Oh, right? Mackenzie. <laughs> Dude, I wish I could take a photo of your face. Damn, uh, th- Tom- Sally Windows 98. <laughs> <laughs> Tom just became a fucking Laffy Tappy rapper there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, hey, did, what, what, what do you want? Some deep fucking looking at I the have society? The of- human smoking ritual. Uh-huh. Infinite flavor choices. <laughs> Maximum conversation starting problematic. <laughs> 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 Time to light up my pipe. <laughs> uh, I don't know if Tom did have a girlfriend. You're not dating right now. When you do start dating again in the future at some point, what what kind of woman are you looking for? I'm not going to have a girlfriend for a very long time. When you, you and me retu- both, buddy. Because neither am I, but I think when I come back to the game, what am I looking for? What am I I'm trying to figure out what do I want out of a partner in this life? You know? I I don't I- I, I, I'm not, I'm not, here's the thing, I think I'm better, I, I, I get things done when I'm not in a relationship, there are people that I, 
Like, I've met people that I, I, I like and I enjoy being around them. I'm like, here's the thing. As soon as I join a relationship, join like it's a guilt. <laughs> it's, it's like every- As soon as I join the relationship, they are mystified by my algorithm. <laughs> it just becomes a thing where I'm not focused on the shit I need to get done and I, you know... Fucking hormones are going crazy. It's just a bad thing for me. So yeah, I do what? like dating girls who are like who like let me be lazy. Like I dated a girl for two years once, and she was like, "I love beards," and so like she made me not shave. Uh huh. And uh, I was, we were talking about this earlier. I do not grow a beard. I grow like a, a little goatee here. Mm-hmm. And yeah. It's like it looks like pubes, and it's like half orange, half black. It's like Halloween. Oh, th- dude, yeah. Colors. You growing a beard, like there's no way you don't look like you're on a lot of problematic subreddits. <laughs> yeah, it was awful, and she made me keep that goatee for like two years. Oh, so. geez. Yeah. All I've, all I've really, the really, the only thing I've ever made a decision on that before has been like you have to. Uh, I, I want a girl who's funny and has a big butt, and I'm pretty sure I still <laughs> want those things. But that's about all. That's, that's as far as I've gotten. Yeah, I want yeah. I want a girl who uh, with a short skirt and a long jacket. I don't I don't know. Hey, <laughs> cake, baby. He quotes cake. Is that Great a cake dude. quote? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, you fucking imbecile. Of course, it's a cake quote. Oh, Tom it's, was get so the excited. Fuck Finally, out of my here. favorite food is not my favorite band. It's only it's only one of the two most famous cake songs, Connor. <laughs> Honestly, it's not even. It's not even. Really so- Their best my, uh, songs are the B sides. My seventh wow. grade math teacher told me she liked cake, and I'm like, wow, my math teacher's cool. <laughs> uh, Harrison Jr. writes, if there's exact, if there's an exact clone of you, same thoughts, memories, body, etc., and you have sex with them, is it sex or masturbation? There is only you in the room. It is 100 percent sex. It's definitely sex. Yeah, right? it's, you're, you're still having sex with something. Like, yeah, but it's you. I think if I met myself, we'd probably end up jacking off each other pretty quick. Are you saying it like okay? No. I think it's masturbation. It's a high tech sex robot. That's masturbation. It's, it's a clone. It's a person. It's, a it's still no, a person. It's a clone. That's sentient. not a clone's not a person. Well, it's got it's, it's, it's sentient. I would never fuck me. So now it's rape because well, I would not want to do that. Well, if you, would, if you would, would never that. fuck you, then the other you would also never fuck you. So I no know, sex which would is happen. why I'm saying there's some third party with like a like a rifle or some shit. Okay. Man, this so. is a weird hypothetical. Yes. Tom's not good at hypotheticals. He goes, that would never happen. And I'm like, well, that's the that's where the interesting nature of the question lies. And you're like, yeah, but I wouldn't do that. <laughs> yeah, but you say, what if you did? Maybe you could have some kind of funny idea about the hype. It's so goofy. You know, maybe if you well, just I, imagined it. But I wouldn't do it, though. I, I love that Tom's objection to the hypothetical. Isn't that like there's a clone of him, which could never exist. It's yeah, that he yeah, wouldn't yeah. have sex with it ever. Yeah, no way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Whoa, I draw the line somewhere. Dude, I wouldn't trust me to fuck me. I would never do that. If you met yourself, do you think you would like yourself? No. No. Me neither, yeah. <laughs> I would just be like, this guy thinks he's so great and or just wants everyone to feel sorry for him and I can't figure it out and I hate him. <laughs> uh, honestly, if I saw me do stand-up and I had never seen my stand-up before, I'd be like, eh, I don't like this guy very much. Oh, I would, yeah, same thing. God damn it. I hate I hate that so much. Why can't I do stand-up I would like? I No, I can't. <laughs> I've never done stand-up I would like. I like your stand-up a lot, though. I, you well, I like yours. Yeah. <laughs> Jeopardy, that is one of my favorite jokes ever. Yeah, I like uh, Bowler's Adam Cross went to Don Carlos, so there you go, Don Carlos. Hey. We got you another $6 Hell yeah. In Sponsored by Don Carlos Taco Shop in La Jolla, California, right across the street from La Jolla Comedy Store. Go to eatasomething.com. Eat a... This is a burrito, right? Yep. Eat a burrito. Eat a burrito.com for more Tom taco Gosses, information. Howard Cosell, Muhammad <laughs> Ali. Your name's too black now and everybody's mad. What do you think? <laughs> the taco could go all the way. John Lennon has been shot, and boy, is he running for his life out there on the gridiron. Uh, uh, I think this question is for you and Keith, but I think just in general, it's from No Life Tell Pleather uh, on Instagram. All right. <laughs> Can you just ask... No. Life <laughs> till leather. leather. <laughs> Can you just ask Tom to try and say other old sayings? Oh, yeah. Did you hear the episode where Tom, we're trying to say the old saying, I'm made of rubber, you're made of glue, whatever you say bounces off me and sticks to you. Uh, we're trying to figure out, if, uh, see if Tom knows other old sayings. So I'm okay. Trying, uh, so, Tom, a bird in the hand. What? <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's an old saying involving a bird, a hand, and a bush. And how much the, that's worth? <laughs> Doing the bird one in the bush. <laughs> <laughs> Doing the hand one in the, the bush. The, the stinky flamingo. Uh, yeah, what? So let's saying a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. Yeah, uh, is the old saying. Yeah, uh, a bird in the hand makes. I, I just told you. The he just oh, told you what it was. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. What the? 
What the fuck does that mean? I couldn't tell you. Okay, uh, uh, Tom. How do you use that in context? I don't know. I, I don't well, well, I feel like you I'll might look be it up. fucking you do up another one say. because Tom, close only counts in horseshoes. Uh, I love this game, by the way. <laughs> and bowling? Fuck, I've actually heard this one before. Yeah, you're, cl- you're close. Bowling. Everyone knows <laughs> bowling. <laughs> Uh, horseshoes and... Uh, shit, I've heard this. Okay, so a bird, a bird in the hand is worth what two What the fuck? The... There's another sport, right? It's not a sport, really. It's more of like a... Yeah, it's, a, a really... <laughs> it's a way you murder somebody. <laughs> crossbow. It's a weapon. No. <laughs> close, <laughs> close, why would, cro- why close, would close go with a crossbow? Yeah, why would you gotta hit like people with a crossbow. Almost got me. I'm what's, what's something you I've can... heard this saying, too. I can't remember Have where you? the fuck it I goes. Could, I wouldn't believe that you had. Horseshoes <laughs> and... Well, what's, what's, an, what's an implement of destruction that you could kill someone with and be reasonably close? No, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> These require contact with car. human flesh. Car. No. <laughs> no, you idiot. You gotta hit someone with a <laughs> car. Yeah, car. Yeah, that, yeah. Yeah. Maybe if the car exploded, what else explodes? Bombs. Close. Grenades. Yeah. Yeah, yeah there, there we go. Horseshoes and hand grenades. Yeah. There you go. Oh, why does it have to be hand-specific grenades for this? Well, to what else are you throwing with them? Your foot? You yeah, give them a, a hand grenade. <laughs> Melee is going to go I don't know. I assume artillery division with I assume there's grenades. another kind of grenade. I don't know what yeah. it would be, but... Yeah, possibly. Yeah, who knows? Yeah. Well, there's the ugly chicks at bars, right? Oh, oh yeah. I, uh, yeah. Yeah, Bruno Mars. Yeah, Tom, has to, except for Tom jumping on the grenade, is watching hockey while he drinks alone. All right, what's another expression? Yeah, so a bird in the hand with two... Which is worth two in the bush means that it's better to hold on to a sure thing than risk it for something more, is the expression. That's so. a dumb expression. All right. Well, <laughs> good thing for you. you good could... thing I don't know what it is because it's bad. Uh, a penny saved. Is a penny earned. Hey, there we go. Yeah, That's bad. Know about money. I want to see some old expressions here because this is kind of fun. I'm enjoying <laughs> yeah. this. Okay, let's see here. Uh, uh, no, those uh, are all too short. Uh, all right. I'm trying uh, to not look. If you're the provider for the family, you bring home the what? Bacon. Ah, oh, these are too easy. We got to get we got to get harder on Boom. time. Boom. Who's smart now? Uh, still not you. That's probably uh okay, yeah, these are all too uh oh, cold. Yeah, I, I don't even know some of these. Yeah, cuz sayings are stupid. <laughs> sayings are not you, great. Uh, when you, when you guys you, are conformists. When, what do you say when you embarrass yourself? You put, Whoops. You put your foot in your mouth. Okay. Or you have what on your face? Egg. Ah, God damn it, Tom. <laughs> You're not supposed to know things. Yeah, Tom Pewter has become too advanced. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that you... All right, throw me another one. Throw me another one. Oh, we're trying. We're, we're trying. Just, yeah. we're I only know these. egg on the face because of Joe Aramine boys. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, um, fucking shit. When you, what's another... What's When you die, you kick... People? <laughs> All right. All right. We found one. What do you... What's your... Uh, oh, yeah. He died. He just kicked the... Life. <laughs> Kicked the life? No. Unfortunately, okay. you're wrong. <laughs> when you're dead, you're pushing up what? Pushing off what? You're pushing up... Oh, Daisies. That, yeah. yeah. After you kicked the... Some you Stool. With. Oh, bucket. Yeah, you kicked the bucket. Oh, I know that one. No, you don't. <laughs> 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 you can not. figure it out. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, let's see. Let's try to do one more. Uh... <laughs> This there's an old one. Okay, this one says he's so cheap he wouldn't give a nickel to see Jesus riding a bicycle, which is fun to say. But what? I have not heard that one before. Yeah, strange little old. Why would I want to see Jesus riding a bicycle? I don't know. That's sounds not like Tom. Would, it sounds like Tom is the guy that they were talking about. <laughs> uh. Nah, these aren't sayings. Yeah, this sucks, man. Google, Why are these websites so bad? Get us some better <laughs> lists of sayings. This is very disappointing to me. Uh, Big Meek wants to know what the latest is on the fedora situation. We've covered that. Also. Yeah, uh, not going to get a fedora. The pipe the pipe shone a light on who I'd become with the fedora. Yeah. Um, Here's the thing. If someone gets me a fedora, I will wear it for Mean Boys episodes only. But, one time uh, I stole a beret from a lost and found just because I thought it would be funny to make Tom wear the beret. That's that's a good idea. Wait, I, you got me a beret? Yeah. When was that? When uh, did that it, happen? It was like a year ago. I don't. Oh, I don't you know never if, gave me the beret. <laughs> well, vamp while I get it. It's over here. All right. Well, I don't. I don't vamping. know if you guys know this about me, but uh, I played quiz bowl in both high school and college. And what quiz, is quiz bowl? It's like uh, academic competition. Uh, you know, it's like they ask. It's, it's like, like a Je- spelling bee. It's like it's Jeopardy. Like the MMA version of spelling bee. It's like, like Jeopardy, but with high school boxing. teams, and the questions are harder and longer than Jeopardy. That's the idea, right? Okay. Uh, and once I was uh, moderating. Sounds bad. No, it's a lot of fun. I was moderating at a quiz bowl tournament, and a team showed up, and they were all wearing matching trilbies or fedoras, basically. And I was like, "Oh, you guys are wearing matching fedoras," and they were all like, "They're trilbies," and I was like, "Okay." <laughs> 
which is the most quiz bowl shit because it's just right. a bunch of like socially maladjusted children who know facts. Oh shit! Oh hell yeah! Take a photo of this shit, oh. baby. Oh, you got me glasses too. Wait, are these my old glasses? <laughs> Tom doesn't know if they're his own glasses. I mean, I usually wear these. Yeah, glasses. yeah. Take the pipe. Oh, oh my gosh! Glasses. Here we go. All right, so we've completed the look of Tom. <laughs> He's got a beret on, and I'm got to be honest. I made a pretty good call. This I'm is this. This looks good. I right, moved the microphone so I can get the full picture. Wow. Uh, folks at home, Connor is currently taking a picture. Yep, I got the pictures. <laughs> There we go. It was all worth it, everybody. Oh, this feels like a lot. Yeah. No, it is. A, it is a lot. Be, can you take the glasses off? Because the beret doesn't look wrong, weirdly enough. Yeah, the beret looks okay. I mean, you yeah, might you consider... kind of look pretty natural wearing a beret. Is it, what, if, what if I'm not holding the pipe? No, the uh, beret looks good. It still looks fine. The pipe does kind of complete it a little bit. I'll show you a photo so you can see what you look like. <laughs> uh, it's, it's not great. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Ah! <laughs> Good thing I decided to make a fucking ridiculous face for... Oh, boy. Mm -hmm. All right, so... uh, Oh, boy. All right, I think that's pretty much it for the questions. We do have some voicemails. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, my neck chest is huge in that photo. Oh, your neck chest? chest? Yeah, it just becomes one. Yeah, Tom's neck and his chest are like Pangea. They have separate (laughs) (laughs) Your neck is going to turn into South America at some point. All right, let's uh, let's fire these up. (laughs) <laughs> Just reading the transcription. I hope it starts that way. It probably doesn't. <laughs> Is this working here? No, it's not playing. Oh, man. Oh, there it is. Oh, there we go. Okay, sorry. We'll start this over here. All right, voicemail time. Hey, me boys, got a question for y'all. Uh, my, this chick I'm dating, she wants me to pay her hospital bills because... Already a great start. <laughs> I was I, chick I'm dating wants me to pay her hospital bills, uh, and this is a rough hat. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. Anyway, uh, the, the the transcription of the voicemail doesn't say "Hey, mean boys." It says "Baby boys." Got a question for you? Oh, yeah, no. The predictive text always it, it, it'll be like "Gravy boys," <laughs> which I do enjoy. <laughs> All right, so let's see. But her and uh, she had a uh, outbreak, and then uh, <laughs> we had to go to her emergency room. But I kind of. Th- she had an outbreak. Oh, an outbreak Uh-oh. of what? Suspicious. Uh, Tom, you put the beanie all over your head, <laughs> and now you now you just look like Fat Albert's friend. <laughs> <laughs> he does. No, not the one who says that. This is terrifying. This is like Kanye's Yeezus mask that covered his whole head. It's itching my nose. Yeah, you look, take it off. I don't. You like look this. like you're. From, I like it. <laughs> why? Because I can't see me now. So you look now like you're, you're just, from fucking Hellraiser, you're a, dude. You're in a sensory. Can you hear the voicemails? Yes. Okay. Well, let's continue. Yeah. Thinking it's my fault because earlier in the day I was eating a peanut butter sandwich. And I kind of jacked off, and then later on, I didn't wash my dick. So, you know, after she got through stuffing me, uh, next thing you know, her eyes are shut closed, and she freaking can barely breathe. So I just wanted some advice. Would y'all think I should tell her, or just keep it cool and keep it moving? Love y'all show, thanks. What, what was the, what? do you think I should kill her? Is that what I he said? What? Should, I, should I tell her, or just play it cool and keep it moving? I think so you should. So you gave her uh, an allergy attack because you jacked off after making a peanut butter and jelly and got peanut butter <laughs> on your dick. How, how this is a problem that I just haven't had yet. By how, the way. how sloppy is your peanut butter and jelly making that you're ending up with like peanut butter on your hands and like, right. all right, time yeah. to jack off. This guy's making them like when a little kid gets to make them on their own and it's just fucking a foot of peanut butter, all the jelly. It's just yeah. like squirting out everywhere. I mean, this I think like a you... home alone peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Yeah, this this I... is a, a moral conundrum right up there with a the trolley problem. And philosophy. Uh, I would say that you <laughs> play it cool and keep it moving. Honestly, I would <laughs> tell I think, her. I think you, you fucked tell up. Her. You I mean, well, up. It was, did you know a, that she had a peanut allergy? I think this is a this is a fairly within the realm of accident. Although it is your For fault. Sure, sure. So, sure. I think it's you an just got to be honest and be like, hey, now that the dust is settled, uh, I gave you <laughs> <laughs> allergy outbreaks with my fucking jiff dong. <laughs> I think you should pay the bill for sure. Yeah, uh, you should at least like you know you, you did that with with your dick. Or pay her back over time. Yes, you know, you know yeah. installment yeah, plan. Had to pay a lot of his girlfriends back for things over time. Because I'm a loser. <laughs> I, uh, I'm no stranger to that. Ask Jessica how long it took for me to repair the front fender on her car. The answer is two years. Ooh. Maybe a year. You guys I don't dated know. two years ago? No, I don't know when we dated. Forever yeah, ago. Time is a fucking dude. Time has been tripping me out lately, dude. Yeah, me and Jessica might start a podcast. I'm thinking about it. So let me know if you'd be interested in that, Mean Boys listeners. 
We're, we're, we're just going to call it a different bad X pun every week, like on the XXX Tentacion podcast. <laughs> oh God, damn it! Something terrible. Uh, uh, yeah, so uh, yeah, I, tell the her. consensus tell her. is teller. I I say uh, that play sucks, it cool. Bro, for sure. It wasn't on purpose. Like you're not a bad guy for. Well, I mean, you should wash your hands, but that doesn't yeah, make you're you a bad, bad you're guy. Bad chef. I don't. Think you're a bad guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're a bad single father for sure. I think you're a better guy if you tell her, and she might yell at you or something. But like you know, you know that's, be, that's honestly, the price of the peanut best butter. Policy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I will say, uh, fucking, that is a pretty funny problem. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm one. glad she's not dead. That's good. Does seem like a waste of peanut butter. If you had a recurring role on a 90s sitcom, what would your catchphrase be? I, what, uh, what, what is it? What, uh, what was in the 90s? Uh, recurring sitcom, like a catchphrase. Yeah, but know? like, I'm trying to think of like a friend. I would, I would be Kramer's like, friend. Was, uh-huh. Was Seinfeld would the nineties? Yeah, yeah. Where, when else 80s. would it have been? Eighties. Yeah, yeah. was the eighties. Everyone knows the Seinfeld Vietnam episode <laughs> that they did. What else mm. was in the nineties? Martin. The <laughs> fuck is that? I'm not uh, good with catchphrases. Black Seinfeld. Uh, I would. Uh, mine would be something dumb like "We've done it again." Or something like that. Oh, uh, mine. Oh, yeah, mine. Well, we were doing catchphrases around the house, and when, the, my catchphrase would be like, uh, "Tom, say something is really good. Like, say anything you like is really good, or something." Ah, uh, dude, jumping really high is really good. Is it? That was my catchphrase. <laughs> you know, because someone would be talking like, "Oh yeah, I saw this person tonight. They're so funny." I'd be like, "Are they?" <laughs> for for me, it would probably be like, "I broke the blank," or "I broke it." I like I broke it. Tom, you got to take this. <laughs> no, I'm not doing it, dude. Uh, I'm going to take my, a picture of you. This is my I new do. look. I've been this way since you gave me the hat, and uh, I like that I don't see me. Yeah, Tom um, is fired from berets. Um, yeah. I, I did try to be a catchphrase comic briefly as a joke where my catchphrase was, that's not business, which I think is <laughs> great. <laughs> I like it. That's not business. Uh, anyway, that, that'd be my catchphrase. I like it. You know? <laughs> well, that's not business. Well, if you want to leave us a voicemail, uh, you can do it at 304-805-6326. That's 304-805-MEAN. Mean. Uh, really, those are the only two we had this week, so we need to top the hopper back up. And uh, I think that's the show, man. Hey. Isaac, thank you for coming in. Hey, thanks for having me. I, I say of all the guests we have on the show, you're always available on short notice. I am. <laughs> I, 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 I got nothing going on, baby. Yeah, no, yeah, you do. Tell us about it. What, what do you got coming up? Any shows where the oh. listeners can come see you? Yeah. Uh, I think is really one of my favorite stand-up comedians, which is... Uh, which is uh, not going to get you far in this town, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 I do mean it sincerely. Uh, uh, October 27th at 11 p.m., I'll be at the Westside Comedy Theater. Uh, you can catch me there. Uh, Saturday, December 8th, I'll be at On Deck Comedy at the Blue Rooster or something like that. Oh, cool. That's a good show. Uh, December 20th, I have to cancel my membership for Casting Frontier because uh, I got a <laughs> job. <laughs> and then, uh, more importantly, I'll be in the D.C. area where I'm from. In uh, you know around Christmas time, so come out and see me. I'll be uh, December twenty first. I'll be at Capital Laughs. I'll do a show for them. I don't know where it will be. We'll figure that out. I'll also be at the uh, Positano Italian Restaurant in Bethesda on Saturday the twenty second. Wow! Uh, at seven p.m. Wow! Sounds like big gig. <laughs> hey, I'm doing forty minutes, so you uh, oh, you, you nice. can't afford to miss it. It'll be a great show. Get out to Bethesda, guys. <laughs> Dude, I'm serious. Me and boys, we go. Hey, I, you'll hang out with them, right? You'll oh, go, hell you'll, yeah, man! Yeah, if if someone come, came to a show to see me, I don't know. What I would do. That's never <laughs> happened. <laughs> go blow his mind, man. It's someone, a weird I drove like an hour to go see Opie do an open mic in Madison. <laughs> you know, stranger things have happened. Oh, it blows my mind whenever anyone knows me from the show and they come to one of my shows. Oh, people like drove like three hours to see me in Austin and I was just like, oh, fuck, want some stickers? Uh, sorry, <laughs> not that good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, follow me on Twitter at IB Hirsch and then you know, I'll, I'll know what the shows are because I don't really B. know Hershen. what they are. Yeah. yeah. So I'd be Isaac. I enjoy his Twitters. Yeah. Tom, what do you got to plug, bro? Uh, tonight, the night this comes out Tuesday, right? Yep. Tonight, the night this comes out, I'm at the Irvine Improv. Uh, so if you live in Orange County or far from Orange County but want to see me host the Irvine Improv, come to that. Uh, and then October 24th, I'm at Phantom Ales in, I think, La Habra. And then uh, most of my other shit's in not uh, in a different time. <laughs> Tom, is a, Tom is a race car turning I'm on. I'm trying <laughs> to remember my dates because I don't want to take that off. Come, uh, uh, yeah, okay, uh, yeah. Uh, well, I'm uh, I have a I have a writing job, so I'm not doing any stand up. But if you want to get lunch in Hollywood, uh, <laughs> send me a text and uh, we'll meet up around 2 p.m. near uh, uh, fucking Melrose and Vine. 
or uh, Santa Monica and Vine, I think, and we could go get some uh, burritos or nice, something. Nice, nice. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, also, you guys have a Halloween show coming up. Uh, we do. Isaac oh, is yeah, Halloween. At, yeah, Halloween. What, what day is that? <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> Damn it, I forgot. Uh, it's I was October, hoping you would I think know. it's October 28th. Oh, fuck. Yeah, that's going to be that's gonna be great. We yeah, already the, have yeah, one tickets for that are live confirmed. right now. Yeah, so... Uh, yeah. Go buy those we're, tickets. <laughs> I gotta make a flyer. We're, we're gonna make. We're gonna plan this out. But if you live in the L.A. area, we're gonna make that a lot of fucking fun. Me, me and Connor yeah. have been talking about like different things we want to do. October twenty eighth at nine thirty. Uh, it will be a great show. I uh, we've I, done more live meet boys in New York than L.A. this year, and we want to. We're gonna. We're gonna yeah, try to make yeah. this really fucking fun. Uh, and we want to make it a yearly thing if it works out. So make sure it works out which, by coming out and we'll make it a fucking... It, it won't. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll but, be there, guys. Yeah, it'll be, oh, yeah. it'll be a lot of fun. We should book Isaac. I don't know if, we can, I don't know if Keith will let us. He, <laughs> hate, he doesn't like you. That's why we... I, I've noticed that I'm always on when Keith isn't here. Well, well we, we just well, want we someone with the same body type. Yeah, it's, so it's, 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 it's truly the greatest weight discrepancy between a podcast fill-in and a guy ever. All right, here filling in for Anthony Cumia, Roxanne Gay. <laughs> we yeah. have Lindy West uh, playing the part of Jim Norton today on the Jim and Sam show. Uh, yeah. Oh, one one other date. It's very far in advance, but uh, December twenty first and twenty second, I am doing comedy off Main Street in Arizona. I'm going to I'm going to plug it all the way up because I don't think anyone's going to be there because it's right by Christmas. So you should be there. You should come out so I have yeah, people to yeah. perform to because I'm headlining that week. Man, this is a very dis- disorganized plug. This is a very sad episode. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's my big gig that fell through. Someone on fucking Gig Salad offered asked me to perform naked at his wife's birthday and I sent him a quote for a thousand bucks and then I was like, that was probably too low. And he said, yeah, sure. And I'm like, oh shit, I might have to do this. And he said, yeah, I asked my wife and she said, Absolutely not. <laughs> right? like, whew, really dodged a bullet there because I'm like I I don't not need the thousand bucks. So yeah, it definitely. Thousand bucks. I will absolutely perform naked for who wants it. Uh-oh. Deeply consider it. Crowdfunding campaign. <laughs> yeah. The guys who hate their bodies. Kings of comedy in the news. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll get you guys and Andrew Solomonson together, and you guys can travel the country in a very smelly van. <laughs> oh god. Oh, I absolutely. I I performed naked once. It was horrifying. If you give me a thousand dollars, guys, I'm. Just gonna become a hooker. I don't That's even. Gonna be my new thing. I don't even like having sex naked. I, I don't know if I'd me do stand up naked. Me and Tom, as soon as we come, we got to put our boxes back. On. <laughs> yeah, the and second. Girls, and the girls second get offended, off. and they're like, "No, no, no, it's not you. It's my crippling self hate." Yeah. yeah. There's like a there's like a thirty second period where I'm still kind of hard. It's okay. And they're like, ah, "I don't like this." Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> cover my head with the hat. Yeah, yeah. Damn, we got some bonus podcast content after the plugs. Today. After the plug. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thanks for you sticking around, to guys. Bonus episodes too. No, I I, I don't have any money. I don't know why I turned to you, even though I can't see. Oh, this will be. I'll add this to the mailbag because I, I do think it's funny. But uh, the, when you uh, cancel your Patreon pledge, you can fill out an exit survey, and sometimes people let us know why they're no longer subscribing to. The oh Patreon. God! And by the way, I know we've been behind on a lot of things and all over the place. We've been busy. Like I have to work like fucking sixty hours a week, so it's been kind of tough to keep up. So this person writes: Tom Goss is the only funny one, and they're trying to be a Chapo clone. Uh, that's wow! Cool. I didn't. I didn't realize Whoa, you guys were so leftist. Said that? That's, that happened when we talked about Brett Kavanaugh once for twenty minutes and included <laughs> zero facts or analysis. <laughs> uh, sorry, boys, can't uh, until I get my one hundred percent rating with Veterans Affairs back. I can't afford it. That's fair. Sorry, guys, I'm broke as shit. We'll repledge when I can afford. Thank you. Sorry, I can't support y'all for a while. College payments have fucked my wallet, and I have about ten dollars in my bank account as of today. <laughs> I'll be a supporter as soon as I can. Man, fucking life is hell for dude. Like, this uh, man, this is so <laughs> yeah. sad. Um, America doesn't want us, guys. <laughs> it does not give a fuck about you. Even the parts that weren't boring weren't worth paying for. <laughs> <laughs> I'll Jesus. definitely become a patron again soon. Keep up the great work, you shitty boner lords. Oh, thank you. This guy writes, sharp edges become dull from overuse. That's cutting. Uh, Ooh. Love the Mean Boys so much. I'll keep listening and definitely be back to support them once again when I have a little more extra cash. Uh, this is my favorite one. I tried to love the show ongoing after Joe's departure, but since he left, it's just like the mean kids fart and swear <laughs> tee-hee hour. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, that's my favorite. That one made me laugh so hard. Yeah, we're a Chapo clone, and uh, it's the Mean Boys fart and pee tee hee arrow. <laughs> well, did you guys see the uh, review I left you on iTunes? Oh, yeah, no. Isaac left us a review. But uh, I didn't leave it uh, under my name, so in... it was very confusing. Let's yeah. put it as the, as oh, the okay. intro. Okay, I think I already read it, but uh, yeah. All right, whatever. Oh, really? Maybe I read it in the intro. I don't know. Oh, God. You're the super fan. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Uh, I mean, it was it was funny because I didn't use my real name on it, so it just sounded like a very sad man. Yeah, yeah, who's like, yeah, it feels like I'm hanging out with my friends, even though we're all actually your friends. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. But if you don't know that, it's just like, wow, this guy's so sad. <laughs> All right. Well, go see Isaac at the pizza place. And uh, thank you for listening. We love you very much. 
Fuck everything. God is dead. Okay, do you want me to be narrator then, or do you want me? I always to... narrate the end now. So... Okay. I just I have the I know the how I want the voice to sound. Is that okay? Yeah, I don't I don't care. Okay. You can also be man one if you want. No, I can be man I two. Man two only has one line. It's yeah, I well, I have almost all the lines in the next sketch. I don't care. Okay, I don't really care either. But yeah, well, then you're narrator man one. All right. Oh, shit. Now i got to do all the parts. Yeah, look look what you did to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> you dipshits. <laughs> See, you, you get what you asked for. <laughs> uh, I'll put this after the credits. <laughs> I do that every... Oh, I, I six months maybe. We always should do that. Yeah. All right.